start now, you're going to be live just now. Yeah. Streaming to there, so it's going to CGFL this time. Seconds, boys. Okay, looking live. Live stream starting. Say action, then we'll know. <laughs> Jason Miguel's got SD cards for the recording, yeah? So, Matt, why don't you start off by giving a quick shout out to the sponsors? Got boys are just warming up and they're just uh, getting things going. We're gonna get, gonna start the game in a couple minutes here. So, uh, let's give it a quick shout out to those sponsors. Not only the sponsors, man. Give it up for Trillium Recycling, buying and selling new and used pallets. We love Wrench It Up Plumbing. Give them a call at 416 800 5050. Engage 416 and Zenith Athletic Performance. And, of course, Baller Media. That's us. So Matt, um, these two teams are uh, sitting at the bottom of uh, uh, their division right now. GTA Grizzlies at 0 and 6, the Quinty Skyhawks at 1 and 5, which the one win actually beat against the Grizzlies at home. Why don't you give a rundown of how that last game played out? Quarterback for uh, the Quinty Skyhawks had a great game against uh, the GTA Grizzlies uh, last time they played. Putting up uh, 45 points, I had 19 uh, completions, 284 yards. They had a rough season, but uh, they did play really well against the Grizzlies, so the Grizzlies have uh, a lot of work today. Do today. Hopefully they can uh, get at least one way uh, to close out the season. Yeah, and that was quarterback Brody Fairbairn. He had, he snapped. No way, no other way to put it. He had a game. He two touchdowns. He uh, had a, 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 almost just shy of 300 uh, passing yards. And in, in this league, um, it's, it's a great day. Defense was the problem for the Grizzlies last, uh, last time they played, but then again, it's been a problem for them all season, so ideally the uh, end game for the Grizzlies today is just try and keep their defense off the field and uh, let their, give their offense more opportunities to at least try and score. What are your predictions going to have this game? What do you, what do you, what do you think is going to come out of it? We've got a day that's been raining here in Brampton, Ontario, and then the sun is actually starting to poke out right before the start of this game. What are your predictions? Uh, I thought weather was going to be a major factor. I, I really thought it was going to keep raining, but the fact that it isn't now is probably good for both teams. It is wet, yeah. a little bit slippery out there. Uh, ideally, both of these teams can uh, sort it out. Prediction-wise, you know what? If, uh, hopefully it's going to be a good game. I'm really not sure who's going to win because um, both these teams have had a rough season. So whoever comes out hot and stays hot is uh, definitely have the upper hand. I would have loved to call it a mud bowl, but in the sun, no more rain and we're on turf. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it, is, uh, it is, it's a turf bowl. But uh, it is, it's going to be interesting to see the GTA Grizzlies on uh, lengthy losing streaks dating back to even last season. Um, 
if they can find a stop today. They have seen their most offensive success against this team, um, and this team at home has something to prove. This might be, this might be at least going into end the season on the note a way that they can end that lengthy losing streak. Well, you people got to re remember that uh, DJ Grizzly is very young. They don't have a lot of experience as a football club with the people on their team. But great coaching staff. They believe in these guys. Uh, the guys that they do have, and they are hungry. They do definitely want to uh, make something happen. Matt, I think uh, you think those geese over there paid for seats tonight? They better have. Uh, <laughs> we got, we got all the asking. animals out tonight. That's what I'm saying. I'm not asking because geese are pretty scary. <laughs> this is actually a beautiful weather day. Like it is actually turning the sun's coming on. I'm gonna take some sunglasses on for this game. And if you're the, if you're they're having the coin toss no, so match, do you want to start with the ball or do you want to defer? Like, what, what, how would you play? Uh, you know, obviously you know what is fine because you know you defer, you get that ball back at halftime. But nothing wrong with uh, starting out with the ball and taking it right to and get your offense on the field right away and give yourself an opportunity to, to get up the scoreboard. Three nine line. coin toss. Who knows? We cannot see the exact results, but we're assuming one team will be making a decision over the other team. <laughs> <laughs> someone will be picking heads, and someone will be picking tails. Maybe they have the Maybe they have different options on that coin. Maybe it's like a special coin. <laughs> the old three-sided coin. Yeah. <laughs> well, this should be a good game. I'm really happy with the fans piling in here. We have some tram traveling fans from Quinty here. And that's, and they got their clackers here. They're, they're, uh, they're slappers, whatever those things are called. And yeah, we're here to make some noise. We even have one, uh, one fan with the horn. A phenomenal Voodoo Zelda player down there who has been <laughs> serenading us with, uh, with phenomenal uh, horn blowing skills. <laughs> and we'll probably get a lot of We'll call it the, the voice of the Skyhawk fan base. Hey, they are, they're loud, they're here, they're ready. Um, so we're going to have a good time to make it. One thing you love to see about the Canadian Junior Football League is like the traveling fans, the people wearing their team gear, driving around the town. Now that Rafa getting the applause for the first time yeah. in the history of football, the well, crowd is applauding a Rafa. Hopefully <laughs> that uh, they they stay the applause. Yeah. You know? oh, ideally they have. Um, okay. Oh, good. A good oh so that's why I was I was talking to nobody. <laughs> okay. And you know what? Like you said, traveling football is football. I'm going to go for football. You know. And the call is the Grizzlies will be receiving to start the game, man. Huh? So they, huh? have, they will have the ball. See what? if they can get that offense going off the top. Quinty Scott Hawks. Miguel is going to man one, doing and the, the other one's supposed to be the other guy. Rocking that. And I don't see him, and I don't really care because the game's going on. He'll figure it out. Nice home. I told him to ride with me so that he's early. He wanted to ride by himself and wanted to drive through the bullshit. CJ, so. well, they got some good jerseys, man. Uh, Grizzlies, great jerseys. Quinty Skyhawks, great jerseys. There you are. Uh, we got to start getting a jersey get, per game. Get your camera set up. Uh, got to put that in our um, camera. On field, yeah, take pictures. Man, I think this camera, too. Of, uh, you don't need to do much. I think I like the white one. Awesome. Uh, the Make sure it's on white. Correct. Correct. Look, you know, it has a nice... Just stay on that side. It's on white. I'm going in the white. middle, but yeah. Uh, they are blue. Right. They, it's blue there are ways. Very swimming. Uh, I look I look. The navies. The navies. I like the Argos powder boots, too. Yep. Great jerseys, man. Oh, oh, looking ready out there. Honestly, oh, you're saying you like these jerseys. Yeah, 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 these jerseys are hot, man. I don't know what lime green. I've just never been out. Uh, not my favorite palette. Favorite palette is the lime green. Favorite palette. Game is about to kick off. Why don't you give a quick shout out to the sponsors before kick off? Sure. Uh, without them, we are nobody. We need them. This league needs sponsors, and we love the sponsors, and we appreciate it. Okay, well, shout out to Actrillium Recycling, buying and selling new and used pallets. Uh, also, wrench it up, plumbing, 416-850-50. The white team. Engage 416 and Zenith Athletic Performance. Same question as to us. Bowling there. Yeah, middle there, yeah. Set it up. Yes, please. Giving you the play call for the CGA Channel. GTA Grizzlies. <laughs> Last home game of the season, looking for redemption, starting off with the ball. And let's see if the GTA Grizzlies can bring the home fans what they've been waiting for the first win of the season. We've been waiting for a win too, man. We're, uh, I'm excited. It's going to be a good game. Quinty picking it up here. Running it up. And the kick is off. GTA Grizzlies will make the catch. And he runs it up to the 30. Finds a hole to the 40. And he's continuing to go. And he's running. Running to the 6 with his balls. Oh my goodness. Touchdown Grizzlies. 
No flags on the field, Flag! No flag, Matt! No flags! No flags! What a start! <laughs> wow! That is a, not what any of us expected to start the game. Just how you want to get off on the right foot if you want to get your first one of the season, Matt. By Cliff Jerry out there, what a run. He saw some real estate and he took full advantage of that. We have not seen, we knew special teams was going to be very important. Uh, but with the offense today, and look at that. Uh, you couldn't ask for a better start than that. And the bench is fired up. The boys, they love it. And the Quincy Skyhawks may look a bit shell shocked right now, Matt. Unbelievable. Great play. Can't start the game. I'm better fired up, Matt. I am fired up for some Canadian football Me today. Too. Wow. And they're going great. for the extra point here on the kick. And the kick is off. And it looks like it is good. The score. Literally 12 seconds into the game, your GTA Grizzlies 7 and the Grizzlies and Grizzlies Skyhawks. Yeah. And it's incredible. I said keep the defense off the field, but they're they're starting the game. Uh, on the field. We, have, we have not seen a, a kick return for a touchdown in LC. No? no, from neither team. At home, uh, I'm sure they've happened throughout the league, but uh, at home here, uh, that is the first. And uh, first game we actually played at Esther Schreiner Stadium. Usually the usual home field of the Grizzlies is Centennial uh, Park in uh, Etobicoke, but they had some facility issues. We played the game on Esther Schreiner, and then um, uh, beautiful Brampton became our home here. Yeah. And, um, uh, I don't think we've seen any kick returns in any of those facilities. Well, look at that. It's uh, no way better way to start the game. So they got to keep this momentum with the defense, work hard here, and uh, see if we get the offense right back on the field. And let's go to the GTA Grizzlies kicking it off to the Quintus Skyhawks. Who we're gonna see Brody Fairbairn for the first time this game, who had his way with the six this last time. And Matt, what do the business defense need to do to stop uh, Fairbairn in this game? Well, obviously you gotta pay attention to the quarterback, but also be aware of that run too. You gotta just let the offense come back to you and make the right decisions here. And we'll see if they can match that kick return. And they go to the corner of the kick. Oh, he's sorry, he got it! Ooh, that's a little bounds. Safe bet, and the Quincy Skyhawks offense takes the field for the first time today. Well, that was again uh, good. Good luck for uh, the Grizzlies there. Ideally, and it's right field position to uh, have the Quincy Skyhawks back there. So hopefully they could keep them back there and uh, pray on this field position. Fair bet. Trying to get the boys going. Trying to see if they can have a response to the Quincy Skyhawks on the road here. Brampton, Ontario. Offense lining up. Scan the field. Fairbairn looking, looking to throw. Drops back, throws it to the right. He runs one step, two step, but nothing there. The Grizzlies get a couple paws on him, and that is second down behind. This Grizzlies defense is fired up, Kevin. They want to. They're, they're working hard, they're looking good, and uh, you can't ask for a better start than that. Defensively, too. Wow. Oh, yeah. I mean, you have a good shot, I'm switching to you. Flinty uh, Skyhawks offense. Amir, do you copy? Lining it up. <laughs> Widen your shot a little bit. Second down, and about 11 here. Takes a snap, flag out, throws it left, completed, but comes right there. Let's see what the Grizzlies not letting uh, Quinty Skyhawk get in any type of a group here offensively. And that's uh, a great, yeah, great effort there by uh, that Grizzly. The call is offside okay. on the defense. They're hungry, they're motivated. Hopefully, no uh, wasteful flags. They gotta, they gotta keep the penalties at a minimum. In the last game, there were way too many, and that cost them quite a bit. Yeah, and you do not want penalties costing you after a great style. Go down the Jason and take the home to the field. Going. You don't want to get penalties. Wait, right, wait. This will be a repeat of second down. Grab a. About the five. Grab it's still, still, right still a manageable. Channel two. To make a stop. Penalty. Penalty. Yep. What I'm saying, Kim, is they can stay focused okay. here. No more flags. Uh, yeah. they're, they, they seem to have the offense's number right now. Sprinting and he gets off. And he's up second down. Fairbairn looking for something. Pitches it back. Runs it right in. That's taken. Oh, the ball's out. And who comes up with that? 
Is it Grizzly Ball? Either way, it will be third down if not, but that looked like that was loose, Matt. It did look loose for a second there. Oh, the TV. But it's definitely... Uh, but the Skyhawks with the with the ball still. That's yeah, great they will be kicking it off by the looks of it, though. If it is, they're down. Oh, we definitely got to bring out special teams here. We don't want to give a yeah, field position in, in, a, in a spot like this. No way. And the special teams unit. For the yes. first GTA touchdown was actually a special teams touchdown. 13? Yeah. And now let's see if they can build on that momentum. 13. 13. And have another big return here. Can they become the special teams specialists? Speed and so 40 back there uh, playing for the reception. Different guy. Maybe we can get uh, same result. Stumbled the snap and he gets the kick off. It's still a good amount of air. GT will be returning it. Go for yeah! it! Touch the hole. He finds one and he's gonna go! And he has another hole! Oh my goodness! And it's to the 30! He can take it to the 20! To the 10! And he's taken down inside the 10 yard line! The GT has returned his flags down though. Flags down. Calm down, Kev. Calm down. <laughs> no reason. Hey man, you gotta get us two or eight with that. Last one. game of the season. Good energy. I think your energy is actually transferring to uh, the Grizzlies down there, buddy. You can probably hear me the way I'm going right now. Up here. I'm fired up. This is Canadian football at its finest today. Great run. Let's see what the call is here. And Amir, do you copy? Let's see if it is against the receiver. Okay, I'm going to switch to you right now. So a whole that's, a, that's a good shot. That's that's a good, good, uh, good, 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 good. Bring it back. It's still be the offensive ball. The reality situation is that was a great run. Great energy from the special Say teams. Again. again, they want it. They want to take the ball into the end zone. And maybe uh, not get the offense on the field at all. I mean, this is a good, uh, this is a good tactic. Yeah, the ball That's is perfect. coming back. Thanks. I'm assuming that was against the Grizzlies. Offense is going back. I'm assuming that they will be set back to the spot of the foul. Okay, no problem. You're, you're recording as well, yeah? If you're not, just make sure you are going forward. That was an illegal block and an unnecessary roughness against the Grizzlies. So you're going to see an amazing return brought way back to the oh, come on. Right yeah, they're going way back. They're still walking. They're still walking. Unbelievable. But the 25 yard penalty, that's a uh, big. That is uh, not ideal. Um, but that being said, the offense does have their first possession of the field. They almost took the field there. The kicker, first time, got a touchdown. This time, almost did it again. We <laughs> saw the effort staying in the bench. So this will be the first time today we are seeing this team with these offense. Well, they've got to be sound. They've got to make the good decisions. Running the ball is going to be important. But that QB play is also looks very quick. Quarterback Vidak is starting. Or actually, Boyd, sorry, I should say. Ryan Boyd, number 11, is starting quarterback for your GTA Grizzlies. I don't know what to tell you right now, man. Grizzlies offense. Takes a snap, hands it off, runs right, and he snatches his way for a couple of three yards. And that's a positive run there for our GTA Grizzlies. Okay. And that was the, the running game, Matt, it might be the, the it's what the GTA Grizzlies have relied on, but I think what we're trying to get is a balance, right? If you can establish the run early and often, it's going to keep the defense on their heels and also get the opportunity for the QB to not feel so pressured, and you can make great throws off that too. Interception, and that was a, was a heads up play uh, by the Chris Yeah, I don't even, I'm not sure you can blame uh, the quarterback there. No. I think that was just a tip ball, went right into the bread basket of the defender, and bad bounce to start uh, from the offensive he, quarterback. He tipped it to his man there. That was, uh, that's a rare play. You don't see that very often, but like I said, a heads up play by the Quinty Skyhawks there, and now they have uh, prime time field position. But the Skyhawks haven't figured out this GTA Grizzlies defense yet today, but fair bear. Looking to scan the field and get something going. Takes a snap, hands it off, run up the middle, jukes one, flag out, and he pushes his way for a couple extra yards. But let's see who that flag is against. 
Oh, got some sun. Yeah. The sun is shining here, Matt. It is a big surprise how bad this was all morning. It was pouring on the way here, and uh, you know. It's good that the sun's up, geese are up. Um, you know what? Better to play in the sun than the rain, that's for sure. Offside defense. Offside defense. Uh, Offside on the defense was the flag that was on the pitch. Yeah. And another penalty for the two takers. Just burning them early. It's. It has been a problem all season. The flags, uh, they've been in there. playing against the, the themselves black often. Oh. Not just, uh, nope. not just the opposing team. And. Defense we got to get to uh, like this hot off and creeping to okay. their red zone. Just the penalties. Oh, sorry. That orange man. The more chances you give quarterback fair. You hear me though, Abdul? Uh, uh, at events like this, we got to get here early. Yep, this team is only bullshit. one in five, but uh, it takes from the team from my focus. Get that second one. Take, take the whole bag. Hands it off the middle. Juice one way, two ways, and two Grizzlies on top of all. No, we gain a yard. Second down. Which is hot and heavy today for the Grizz. They are aggressive, and aggression is going to be a critical aspect moving on Copy. for this team. And the last time this Grizzlies defense still allowed the Skyhawks offense to get about 40 something points in the last matchup. 45 to 13 was the last time they played, and you know what? A lot of people have been coming into this uh, facility and scoring 40, so if they can not allow that to happen today, that's a, that's a win no matter what. Could be a great way to start. We need to stop here in the territory. And Nick quarterback Fairman throws it outside, and that's just maybe enough to get the first down. Looks like he just got it. Just got exactly what he needed. Yeah, uh, I thought he teams. came up a little short there, but they're going to get it to him. I think he's got second after guys who's got to the sideline, right at the right at the at the flag marker or at the marker there, and he just got on the inside. You do what you got to do, and those are types of plays. Maybe get that shot a little wider. It's a mist going across the country. I was wondering what was going on. Gotcha, thanks. And Fairbairn with a fresh set of downs, first down. Skate in the field. Takes a snap, fakes the handoff, looks right, throws it deep. And that's just a bit overhead of number 13, Nick Segetti. That was the right play call there, but the uh, quarterback just overthrew it. And uh, you know what? Also great defense. Uh, yeah, it was just a bit over, I don't think. Maybe if it was a, another foot taller, he might have had an opportunity, but uh, yeah. just, just a bit overthrew him. But good attempt. He was there. Yep. Great play. Great play, great idea. And But again, <laughs> if the Grizzlies can keep you it like this and maybe too, just yeah. allow a field goal, uh, that's, a, that's a pretty good turn. Second and ten. About 20 here. With the Skyhawks driving down the field. Quarterback Brody Fairbank. Don't you take the snap? Takes it. Drops back. Scans the field. Makes the play up the middle. And hey! makes the catch. But that's more than enough for a first down. He's about a gain of five yards. What are they? Great throw, great catch. Better defense. First and time? That is a third down. The special teams will be coming out looking like the field goal unit will be coming out. Yep, and you know what? This is uh, prime time uh, real estate for the Grizzlies. They did they did the right thing here by working hard, only allowing a field goal, and uh, considering where the, yeah, that's perfect. Uh, pretty twenty. I uh, got that. Got that intercept. Bend but don't break, as they say, Matt. You know it. And that's what the GT Grizzlies defense they are making a push. They're showing up. They they found the answer. They found the pushback against this offense. And let's see if they can even maybe even get a ball here. And that's botched a bit, but he gets the kick off in the end. Oh, Bringing the score to your GT Grizzlies seven, Quinty Skyhawks three, GT Grizzlies ball coming right up. Quinty Skyhawk fans are having a good time. Uh, hopefully the Grizz can score again and try and get this crowd out of it and get their GTA Grizzlies crowd right back in. And you know what a score means, Matt? A score either way means sponsor track. So why don't we give a quick shout out to the sponsors? All of you got to shout out the sponsors, support them. Show me recycling, they're out here. They're out here doing their thing. Doing it up, man. Show me recycling, buying and selling new and used pallets. Shout out to Wrench It Up Plumbing. Give me a call at 416 800 5050. Engage 416, Zenith Athletic Performance, and of course us, Volaire Media. And that brings back to the second time today. 
your GTA Grizzlies offense. Oh, and let's see. It's quarterback. Oh, now we are seeing. Yeah, cool. It's still out there. Looks like a little redemption again after that first, first drive interception. Let's see what happens here. Lines up. Receivers in motion. Takes a snap. Hands it off. Run blocks. Just kind of all hesitates. And he finds it. And it's enough for a first down. No flags. Move those chains. GTA Grizzlies. First down. It is Helio All Media. Great run. Uh, they're establishing that run game early right now, Kevin, and they're they're looking good on the ground. There's no doubt about that. And historically, they have looked pretty good on the ground in their previous games. So hope, I think that's going to be a, a main sticking point for them. Yeah, that's a great sign. Defense making a stop in their territory. Offense moving the chains early. Special teams putting up points. Everything seems to be coming together in the early parts of this game. Uh, whoever gets hot first, I really feel is gonna win this game. That. You did say that. You said whoever gets hot first, then establish it. Don't so far, I'd say Grizzlies have been in the moment. Like, been in their favor. Let's we'll see if the offense can build in the house. Runs left, and he gets a go They're moving this ball up the field. They're hiking up the field right now with the run, and they're going to make this Quincy Skyhawk defense tired if they keep moving like this. And uh, it's honestly hard to stop. They're going to go back and try to get something on the air. If it ain't broke, don't, you know, don't fix it. And that run game is looking good, my man. And they're finding the holes there. They're finding there. They're, they're taking advantage of it. We've seen that on the special too. They're finding holes there. That's right. That's Second first down on the strike, potentially. Quarterback boy, snap. Hands it off one way. And he finds it. And he finds it. And he finds it. Great defensive effort by the Skyhawks defense. They handed it off to a different running back there. And they got caught behind the line. Maybe went to the well one too many times with that run. That was number 66, Berkeley. Ben Levich has some fans in the crowd right here today. <laughs> hey, they've got a lot of fans in the crowd today. <laughs> and that will make it third down, bringing in the kicking unit for the GT Grizzlies. They're kicking their way to the Grizzlies Skyhawks special teams. The special teams has put up a lot of yards today. Um, and let's see if it's a reciprocate on the Quinty Skyhawks. Well, the defense is going to have to play a lot today. It's looking so like it's going to be a back and forth. A fair, but go. back and forth affairs are uh, the most uh, entertaining one. I can't hear you. Kick off. Oh, it is blocked by the Skyhawks! GG Grizzlies oh. recover it. Now! But it will be the Skyhawks football in GG Grizzlies territory after that big block by the special teams unit. Special teams has been the story of the game so far. I think there is a flag on the play there, Kevin Clark. Uh, assuming it's against the Grizzlies, uh, once again, Quincy Skyhawks are starting out with that Correct. primo field position, which is uh, which is a really rough go for the GT Grizzlies. So let's uh, proceed to the procedure uh, against the yes. And uh, once again, prime time field goal state for the Quincy Skyhawks. I think they will take that block as Sounds good. Thanks. It's, uh, 100%. you got to take the block. Take that field position. No need to let them dig it again. Quincy's uh, got to try and capitalize on the, the, the location of the block. And last time around, they did get the field goal. And now they're in great field position to start. But they still often didn't put up too much yards against this defense yet. It's been penalties and uh, great plays. Yes. Great, great we don't need to pan. We just uh, need to I'm get the position. So the end zone cameras are only so that the coaches can see the formations offensively and defensively. And that's head coach Peter Gabriel for the Quinty Skyhawks. And uh, maybe he just wants to discuss other things. Thank you. We figured out their offense hasn't had too much, um, too much going for them as of yet this afternoon. So I think maybe a quick discussion with the coach about how they want to approach this great field position because um, great field position doesn't always drop in your hands that often. Well, they did not get a touchdown, and uh, the Grizzlies were lucky last time they uh, only allowed a field goal. So if they can allow no points now, that would be obviously even better. But you know, Quint is looking for a touchdown. They're probably going in something here. I wouldn't be surprised. There, man. Yeah, Let's see if you're right there, Matt. 
I'm Santa Roy, if I'm a, if I'm a better man. Here comes the skin in the field. See what he has. Oh, tries to draw him, tries to draw him. Makes an adjustment there on play clock. And he snaps it, hands it off up the middle, and he gets a gain of yards there. About three yards, I would say. And now the run game coming right back at the uh, GTA Grizzlies there. Give me my money, Matt. I was about to say. Give me my money. All right, let's go double or nothing <laughs> on the next one. And that was a good positive yard. Second down here, about second and uh, six. Would uh, six yards would get them the first down here. And uh, Quincy Skyhawks. See if they go up for a 10th year here. Quarterback Brody Fairbairn. Skin in the field. Looks like they may. Looks like the defense does see something here calling for an audible. And he snaps it, hands it off, runs right, tries to find the hole, and he finds the edge and he gets it and he gets a nice out of the First of speed, he needed to break the edge and got just what he needed for the first down. That's uh, number 13, Nick again. Great run, and uh, once again, like I said, that run is going to be very important for both teams, and they are taking full advantage, moving the ball right up the field. And it will be a fresh set of downs from the Colts of Skyhawks. Starting at about the 21 yard line of the territory. This yeah. defense, yeah. Yeah. Stop you want to say two, two hours ahead? I was going to tell you, but like. <laughs> Field. Takes the snap, hands it off, runs it left, tries to find it, and the GTA Grizzlies defender right there drops the shoulder and takes him down. That was okay. Adam Misiewicz um, on the run, but taken down by the Grizzlies. Taken down behind the line of scrimmage there, and once again, this might be a situation that the Grizzlies had where they're going to the run maybe a little bit too often. It's becoming almost predictable, and but that's good news for the Grizzlies. And that brings the ball back about four yards there. So it's going to be a second and long, a second and 14 here. But Fairbairn has shown he will take, he will make, he will take his shots when they are there. And they are in that territory. So let's see if they do. He takes a snap, scans, throws it left, goes end zone, and oh! Just overthrown, no flags down. Looks like the GTA Grizzlies get away with one there. Phenomenal coverage uh, by the uh, the corner there. Staying right on him. He knew where the ball was going. Almost intercepted, quite frankly, but it doesn't get much better than that defensively for the GTA Grizzlies. And it looks like they're going to get away with just allowing another field goal. And that's the thing. Get that, get that field goal. Yeah, listen, man. Uh, we, we have seen kick blocks uh, in this league, which is not uncommon here. No, it's so, not uncommon at all. GTA Grizzlies special teams has been the right spot. And also, so they got their own kick blocks. So. so let's see if they can uh, return the favor here. Quincy Skyhawks lining up for the kick. Trying to make, make it six points, make it a one point deficit. Gets the kick off, and it is good. Quincy Skyhawks six. We have. A real barn burner here, Matt. It's, you know what? <laughs> There's uh, no short in points right now, and uh, it's interesting that Quinky has had great field position, and the Grizzlies defense has worked very hard to only allow a couple of field goals. So it's a pretty good start for the Grizzlies, and a really okay start for the Grizzlies. Yeah, yeah, the, the good thing about that is the Grizzlies can be satisfied that two times in their territory, the defense held them to field goals. They still have the lead, and there's, there's a lot of to positive to build on here. Well, put on a score, another word from the sponsors, Kevin, so let's do a yes, shout out Trillium. to Trillium Recycling, buying and selling new and used pallets. Shout out to Wrench It Up Plumbing, give them a call at 416 800 5050. Engage 416, Zenith Athletic Performance, and of course us, Volair Media. And I'm almost sad, man. Uh, it will be our last home game of the year, and that's what we will be calling. And uh, it's been a great season, lots of fun we've had up here. I love it, man. This has been awesome. I, it's free football for us. And we want to talk that the boys end up with a win here for us. That's a, for everyone. That's a pretty good send off, a W for us, man. I'd really like that. And the kick is off. And you take it. Looking for another major. Yeah. And he gets one. And he's free. And he's free. Yeah. 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 And he's free. Y
having a returner, dream of a day for this returner. Cliff Jerry is having himself a game. That was a great run, getting pulled on the jersey there. Potential man. Trillium Recycling Player of the Game? He's, well, I think so. So far. He's earning Let's it. Go he's got my vote. That's the game ended right now. He's got my vote. 100%. Game when he the too, so yeah. then, like, the guy off the on the jersey pull there? I think so. And the guy on the Do whatever they can to stop this man. But if he didn't, he might have juked one way, juked another way, and ended up with another uh, six points on the board. He saw another McGreen in front of him. He was taking uh, full advantage of that. And it's almost like we're seeing the same return, too. Yep. It's the same, like, hat, the same, uh, the, they're finding the same holes. Once you... Yeah, run against the Holding against GTA. Holding against back 10 yards. No, there was a holding call there, so we moved it back 10 yards. But you got the scoreboard at 95. Way, so so okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, not working. Damn, that's a kid. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Trying everything. Yeah, the holding call. It was doing. Uh, it had a mind of its own last time too. Oh, yeah, the lady. The lady was freaking out. She's like, it's it's counting down by itself. I'm not touching it. Like we see you. The kick is in the air. That. There is a potential for points up in the air. It's a great boost of confidence for this team, and this, uh, confidence as much as they can get is a really good thing for the Bruins. The mist coming along the track is what an atmosphere! Sun coming out, it's bringing the mist because of the sun. We're seeing signs happen on the track. Boyd <laughs> takes the snap, hands it off. And he's yeah! <laughs> Very cloudy around us, sun just hitting the field, and the track, all the moisture in it is bringing up a very mist, and it's, um, it's a little, uh, when Can I get to me, Amir? Right? I don't know why it's happening, I'm going to have to believe you on that whole science lesson I in this game. I honestly did not take okay. our science classes, that's my guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I call football games. Uh, uh, man, I should have uh, taken notes. We're all there. good. <laughs> Makes sense, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sound right to me. <laughs> and uh, the second in about 12. So the GTA Grizzlies offense looking to get the first down here. Boyd, just what the Grizzlies need is true. It looks like they're going for that. It looks like they're actually yeah. intentional. Uh, for, uh, <laughs> that was a great trick. Uh, you know what? Uh, this Quincy Skyhawks, their defense, they're hungry. They're you probably, probably predicting another run, and they've been getting back there, so it's not surprising that uh, over aggression cost them there. But that's a good play for, uh, that's a good turn of events for the game. Second and a lot more manageable, Matt. 100%. I wouldn't mind going back to the run just for this one, too. Uh, second and about seven, eight, eight, seven, yeah. seven. And I think they might attempt the air. We haven't seen too much air like that. I think they do got it, want to get it going. And I think we might see a throw by that. Boy, 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 takes the step. And you're right, Matt takes the hand up. Runs left, tries to find a hole, finds one, finds two, and he can't get there. And he gets the yard short by one and up in there. Found one hole, found two, but just couldn't. Get that arm over the line for a yard short there. Elio all media once again. He's having himself a pretty good game on the ground. The offense may stay up. Looks like they want to ask. Coach is putting faith in the offense here. One yard short. They're like, you know what, boys? Last home game of the season. We're not we're not playing to lose. We're playing to win. We're playing to end this streak. Keep him out there. Keep the boys out there. The way the defense is playing, keep the boys out there. That's what you like to see, Kevin. Make the, it's entertaining when they go for it, obviously. That's good football. And it's only a yard. It's very possible for them to pick this up and grab that first down. Boyd switching out there. Oh, no. Injury. Timeout Grizzlies. Quarterback boy wanted to talk this over with Coach. And uh, good. it's probably the best call here in Europe. Third down, a big pivotal moment of this first half here. We're sitting at about 154 left in the first quarter here. Um, you you, you want to end this quarter strong. And if you get this first down, you can maybe build some offensive momentum here. I think it's a good call this time. And this quarter, and I'll hopefully hold on to the ball as well. Um, and yeah, like you said, first of downs would be sweet. Uh, do we have seen these Quickie Skyhawks families be loud today? They're right under us here. And it's good to see these traveling fans all the way from Quinnipiac. Beautiful fishing out there. I love uh, pickle fishing out there. <laughs> um, 
it's a uh, good time to holler at the sponsors. Right through a quick time shout out to Trillium Recycling, buying and selling new and used pallets, wrench it up, running. Give them a call 416 800 50 50. Engage 416, Zenith Athletic Performance, and us at Golden. Third and short. Where's his line up? Take the snap. Hand it off. One, two, and one. Phenomenal defensive strike on the Quincy Skyhawks. That's exactly what they wanted, exactly what the Grizzlies did fun. not want. It wasn't 92 on the I just saw him eating, <laughs> eating a bowl of cereal as a celebration. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to clarify. And once again, prime time field position. I feel like I've been saying this all game. Prime time position for the Quincy Skyhawks. Uh, maybe they might go into the uh, end of this quarter with being on top. They trusted the run game, they thought they could get that yard, and unfortunately, Quincy Skyhawks read it, found the hole right, and found the jump, got there, and now their offense takes over here. Quarterback Fairbairn fakes the handoff, throws it up the middle, yeah! it in the the Grizzlies, just enough for the first down with the Quincy Skyhawks. Interesting play call here by uh, Quincy Skyhawks, they're actually switching it up with throws <laughs> and runs. Uh, that's what the Grizzlies, they got to start going to the air at least a little bit. Uh, when they get the ball back, and that was a solid throw for the Yeah, I think it comes down to predictability. I think you're right there. You need that balance because if you just, uh, if you're going the one way, eventually the teams are going to find the jump and just start throwing everyone at it. And, uh, and uh, Fairbairn trying to get this group of Skyhawks offense, a, more ba a balanced offense. Fairbairn is getting the field. Takes the snap, hands it off, up the middle, and the GTA Grizzlies defenders all over him. Pause on him. Nothing there. Maybe a gate of one at best. Solid stop by the Grizzlies, and they've been doing that in this red zone, keeping uh, the Quincy Skyhawks at bay and out of the end zone. So once again, if they can get a stop here and only allow a field goal, that's really a really good job. Getting there. It's in that territory. It's 50-50, you know. Yeah. No kicks are guaranteed, but we do not have no wind here. So, uh, it is actually perfect for the condition, no matter which way you're going. That's right. The flag is not moving. Fairbairn, second down and nine, takes a snap, rolls to the left, finds the throw, and it's completed. Is it short? Let's see where the spot is. Maybe it's going to be a couple yards short of a first down. A great throw, great play by quarterback Fairbairn and the Quincy Skyhawks. Grizzlies were able to put some pressure on, on, on that there, play there, on uh, Fairbairn with that. Uh, with that blitz, but uh, he was able to move and make a great decision. And now they play. will be going for it on third down. Fairbairn is staying out there. And, uh, third and I'll say two. And, um, uh, and it's end of the quarter. Saying, oh, end of the quarter. And, uh, end of the first quarter here at Terry Fox Track and Field Stadium with the score of your GT Grizzlies 7 oh. and the visiting Grizzly Skyhawks 6. End of the quarter, so you know it's uh, <coughs> kind of holler at the sponsors. Um, let's give you a big time shout out to Truly Recycle, buying and selling new and used pallets. Of course, we have Wrench It Up Plumbing. Give them a call at 416-800-5050. Engage 416. Zenith Athletic Performance. And give it up to us. Bowler. Mm. Shout out to the boys behind the scenes. We have things happen. And still though, the offense does remain out at about Third and two at about the 26 yard line. You know, two Fairbairn in the offense. Staying out there, and the geese are making their way to the end zone. They are touching it, and it's a handoff. They run left, find the off, and And the president too, right? And that is first down for the quickest guy. It's Mr. Diddy again. Uh, he's been having himself a game. They've been running for the offense has been clicking for the Quincy Skyhawks. So he just not have been able to put the ball in the end. That's the difference. Third down conversion. One way it got blocked, the other way converted. That's right. Both fun plays. Fairband looking. Takes the snap. Takes the handoff. Drops back. Throws it. Throws the man. And it's completed for a game. Decision making by this quarterback. He's looking poised out there. He's having himself a really good game. 
Led by quarterback. Is, is the camera game. set to give it a feed? Looking for the end zone here. Because that's the only other way. thing. Because so I use that. Players, and he throws it completely. Yeah. And that's a yeah. 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 Um, you knock on the door enough times and someone is going to answer. I mean, quite frankly, they've been living in the red zone all game, and it's, it's actually very convincing, or sorry, very surprising that there's only been one touchdown score, but that you know what's going to happen. What's the beer doing right now? Shooting blind? They, they are a fellow bird, and they knew the Skyhawks were buzzing, and they were coming to support their bird friends. <laughs> <laughs> making their way to that cameraman down there, I feel I'm nervous for them. Yeah, I'll cut up into this point and then first time today, the Quinty Skyhawks are leading the game. They've been playing well, they've been playing efficiently, and ideally this uh, GTA Grizzlies offense can start working, mixing up the play calls a little bit, and put that, these uh, that was good, right? pretty sky on their heels. That, that kick was good? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Matt, you know what a score means. Why don't we shout out the, the sponsors? And um, also, last year of the season, we do want to shout out uh, everyone in the organization. What a great organization. It's been, uh, it's been a pleasure working with them this season. Uh, everyone, from the players uh, to the staff to the volunteers, uh, everyone's been so fun. It's a beautiful game. So, shout out to Trillium Recycling, buying and Silver, new and used pallets, wrench it up plumbing, give them a call 416 800 5050, engage 416, Zenith Athletic Performance, and of course us at Full Emmy. Looking for something, and they're going with a bit shorter of a kick. Yeah! They did not want to test it. And they went for a kind of targeted something that they wanted to do. That was a great play, unexpected for, uh, for that guy shooting. Uh, you know, because the ball might He did drop it there, but luckily he was able to recover. And it's not too bad of a field. You've got to kick him away from it. You have one guy that's the one that has the one female, female on the one side and male on Just give it to someone else and let them, let them let it. Yeah, Quinn Gary has been having himself a game like we said earlier. And uh, he has not want to test him out again. They, no. They are. They're seeing it. I wonder if we're going to see Jerry actually yeah. so, um, make his presence down to the offense end. I wouldn't be surprised if they start going. They got to go to the air here at least once, even twice on these set of downs, and really try to establish something via the air. Lining up, trying to find the answer to this Prince of Skyhawks defense. Let's put the other one. Throws it. Understood. All hands, team. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure who the target was there. Yeah. Yeah. The referee yeah. made the catch. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not hesitating. Yeah. No. He was ready. He's been waiting that moment all this career. <laughs> <laughs> He's a baller, man. Shout out to the refs. <laughs> Just out of bounds, though, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Second down for the Grizzlies offense. See if they get back to the air when they're Offense lines up. And they hand it off. Run to the left. Find nothing there. And it's spot quick. And that's going to be third down. Back out here. Offense has been struggling, Kevin, and the problem is if you're not going to make it in the air, they know that run is coming, and Quincy Skyhawks, they're almost waiting like They got back there right away, put the pressure on them, and almost lost some yards there once again by this GTA Grizzlies offense. We'll be kicking it off here. 
And uh, we have seen in this league, though, uh, people drop fakes, fumbled, and uh, converted by the other team. So, like, just a kickoff does not mean that something crazy might not happen here and uh, make another, bring the momentum back to GTA side. But I think as of right now, we're starting to see at the beginning of the year the momentum on GTA side, and now it's definitely okay. Anything can happen on any given Sunday, so don't be surprised to see a crazy play here as well. Subtle movie reference? You know it. <laughs> Get the kick off. Good kick. Found some air. Received by the sky off. They're going to be returning it to the 30. Runs it left. Finds one edge. Oh, 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 to the 50. Oh, 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 He's now returning, he's been running the ball really well. Uh, they have trust in him, faith in him, as you can, and for good reason. Potential trillion recycling player of the game. Maybe, between him and Fair Bandits, uh, right now it's a toss up. You know, Rick Gary's, uh, his name's up there too. Quinty Skyhawks offense lining it up. And with the 49 yards on it, Fair Band. Field, takes a snap, drops back, throws a screen to the right, makes the catch, finds a hole, flag down, tripped up, and let's see who the flag's against. Holding against the offense, against the Quincy Skyhawks, and the GTA gives the defense catch break there. That's the 10 Took a penalty on that holding call, great play by the Grizzlies, staying composed and uh, drawing that penalty. And we saw penalties actually ruin the momentum for the GT Grizzlies early momentum was actually like, kind of stopped by penalties. And now maybe let's see if that swings the other way if uh, penalties uh, start to actually swing in their favor. They gotta take advantage uh, of whatever comes their way, Kevin, and uh, you know, flag like that, flag here, flag there. Um, but that, that could be a great uh, momentum shift for sure. And if this was really a battle of the animals, I would definitely have my money on the grizzly bear over the skyhawk. I just want to throw it out there. Mm. <laughs> skyhawks are pretty dangerous. <laughs> Maybe a bear cub, they would win. <laughs> and Fairbairn just drops back, looks in the field, scrambles up the middle, finds the hole, and he's taken down for a gain of yards. Gained about five yards there on the run. He won a run by Fairbairn, had nothing in the air. Good secondary effort. Great. Finds a positive gain there. There was pressure on him, but he made a good decision running the ball there. He didn't force anything, and that's a big deal. Uh, running it up there, getting a couple yards, and it's a positive game for the group. Or for the good style. Is second and long? Is that what I'm reading that? Yeah, we're at yeah. second and 15 for this uh, Skyhawks offense. I'm looking for a conversion here. Let's see if they test the air on the second and long, or if they go to uh, the run game. Fairbairn trying to get them offside. No luck. Takes the snap, looks right, throws it. He has him, and the completion! <laughs> the and the in the stadium are going nuts. What a first down. Big time collapse there by the, in the secondary by the Grizzlies, and that's a, that's a heartbreaker right there when you give up a first down like that, especially after that 10 year penalty. Uh, but Quincy Skyhawks, once again, back in and around the red zone, knocking on that door. Uh, they want to go into this half up big. Yeah, the Skyhawks driving down the field, having their yeah, way with both the running doesn't and throwing in. They're finding their move. Yeah. Fair band, looking for more. <laughs> Takes the snap. Throws it to the right. Throws it. Another completion. Hey, hey. Takes that out of bounds. And there's a flag, though. Let's see, let's see who the flag is against. Somewhat angry player midfield for the Skyhawks. I'm not sure if it's equipment related, maybe. Who knows? Do you see a play down? There's a 13 Josh Neal with the catch. Uh, this quarterback, he's been making, like I said, he's been making some really good, smart decisions. And nothing is forced um, by the Quincy Skyhawks right now. And that's a that's a big deal. We got a player down here too. Show it to the trainers, all the, the trainers out there. Man, man, they You never want to see that. But uh, you got to show it to the training staff out there as well. You're doing a great job, Josh. Very, very true. You want a quick shot to the sponsors? Why not? Hey, Why not? Yeah, 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 like you got to join. We do have sponsors. You know, we got joined the sun. We're buying and selling you. new and used college. Oh, right. Set up today. Rent it up. Give them a call at 416 800. 
50-50. Engage 416. Zenith Athletic Performance. And of course, us at Bull Air Media. Second half, 921 left in the second half. GJ Green is 7. Grizzly Quickest guy has 13 driving, looking to make it a two-score game here. Quarterback's better than I would say he's finding his groove. He, he, that's correct. I mean, he has found his groove, and he is, he's settled in very nicely. He's picking apart this uh, GJ Green's defense, and they got to figure out a way to stop him. And, uh, that is currently first and 10. Takes a snap. Skins the field. Throws it right. Another completion, and they are having their way over there. That is his connection right now. Whether it's the air or the ground, the uh, Winter Skyhawks are doing a phenomenal job offensively, keeping the defense guessing, and honestly, hanging out in that red zone. It's a, they gotta, they gotta keep this up, and it's gonna be a really long day for the uh, GTA. No, I'm doing. No, it doesn't matter. So if I go wide, that will make it second and about eight in so the GTA Grizzly red zone. This defense looking to hold the middle field goal. Keep this game so with each shot. We can do it. We can do it. Fine. A fair bit. Looks like he has a good chance. That's right, that was a phenomenal throw and catch there, Beal. Fighting for those yards, and quite frankly, that was uh, just a great heads-up, tough play. You gotta, you gotta push in those scenarios, and those little plays, those little pushes, uh, are making all the difference. And that chemistry between Fairbairn and Beal, uh, Evan. Yes. They, they, they look like they are comfortable. They know each other's timing. They know where each other wants each other to be at any given moment, and we're seeing that uh, resonate now on these drives. He's been open, that's for sure. And nothing, once again, nothing's been forced by this offense. It's been smooth. It's third down, though. It is third, and and um, I think quarterback's still out there. That's the thing. They have shown at least third and about three, but they're not afraid. I think that we'll even throw it for the end zone. Not even, maybe even attempt it. We might even see mm, looking for more. That'll be very interesting if they decide to throw it uh, on inches like this. But you never know what's going to happen in a game like this, especially when the offense is clicking so well. Fair there, and the coach feels confident against this defense. On third down, trying to get something going. Well, GT crazy defense make a stop here. And get a turnover and down. Fair there, the field. Looks outside and he gets it. Mm -hmm. Against maybe the offense. I think he yeah, kind of tricked uh, the guy a bit too. Uh, procedure back. Procedure back. That will bring it back to five yards and might bring out the kicking unit. Looks like it will bring out the kicking unit. Uh, GT gives his defense catch a break. A little too over aggressive there by the Quinty Skyhawks, and like you said, catching a big time break for the Grizzlies. Uh, they can only, once again, allow a field goal in this red zone. Um, you got to take that as a win. Another word from the sponsors. That's Trillium Recycling, buying and selling new and used pallets. Shout out to Lynchina Plumbing. Give them a call at 416-800-5050. Of course, Engage 416 and Zenith Athletic Performance. And a big time shout out to us at Vol Air Media. Uh, I need one of those jackets. Have you seen the jackets, Kevin? 
a beautiful jacket and these these geese are enjoying this game and they are they are enjoying this skyhawk touchdowns because they went to that end zone right at this half they all walked there they're like we want to see our skyhawks our birds put up some fellow coins they know where the action is that's for sure um i would be nervous if the ball did go over there quick pit stop on their way to florida for the winter maybe Woo. Had to come and catch a game here I'm in this to, beautiful brim. I'm trying to join him, man. I'm not a winner. <laughs> I'm not a winner guy either. <laughs> birds sing together with these grizzlies. <laughs> Looking to eat on some bird today. Looking to respond. Down here. Two scores. It's well within reach. The kick is off. Look at him! For 20. Jukes one. Keep going, he jukes up and he's still not down in the hole. We've seen some great returns and that was a good second effort. Bringing it to about the 32 yard line where the GT Grizz as well. Offense will take the field. That was a good run, pretty good field position for the Grizzlies to uh, try and get this offense moving and uh, see if they can get warm a little bit here. Give Boyd a couple of touches, let him get uh, comfortable because that run game is they're looking for it to put the sky on. So. You gotta go to the air and, uh, and get comfortable. Yeah, this offense here has found a bit of a groove in the run game. I don't think we've seen, uh, seen the uh, aerial game again, which we've seen as a trouble for them all season. This isn't uh, unique to this game. And, uh, they're still trying to get over that hump. And did you see a different quarterback in the game, actually? No, that's not quite <coughs> 11, actually. Trying to read those numbers here, Matt. Well, hey, we're up, uh, it's called the Skybox for a reason. Hands it off, hands it off, runs it left, finds his edge, keeps going, and that's enough for it! Ten for the first down, I want to get two out of myself, I know I like to get here. Hey, man, that's what it's all about. That was a great run by Omega once again. He has been having himself a great, uh, great game. He's trying to be that is a first down for your GTA Grizzlies. Move those chains. Hey, great run. Once again, they're, uh, they're, they've been, honestly, it's been that run game, Kevin, that's been keeping the GTA Grizzlies competitive um, on the offensive side of the ball. Great way to start the drive with that first down. Lining it up, looking for more. Looking to get it going. Takes the snap. Throws it deep. That's enough for completion! GTA Grizzlies first down, no flags. Who those chains? That is Cliff Jerry with the reception. He has been all over the field today, Kevin. That was a pretty uh, good throw. Got tipped, a little wobbly, but still able to make the catch. What I say, get Jerry involved in the offense. And he's been the man for this, getting this team going, and I think he may be the answer for their offensive woes. Yep, well, I agree with you right there, Kevin. Uh, uh, and you know Put the ball in Jerry's hand. Give me the money, Jerry. <laughs> Give me the money. <laughs> we have fun in the booth here. How long? Jager, these home games. Beautiful day, not to have fun. How can you not? Like this. Quarterback, Boyd, takes a snap. Hands it off. And there's a flag down. Flag down. It's a little much of a game. But immediately, I think it's off like for a Getting chippy down there a little bit. Grizzlies got to keep their composure. They're moving the ball, and you don't want to mess this up by having a procedure once again. And yeah, so you don't want flags like that. Offense, I guess? Yeah. yeah. yeah offense. Move the ball back five yards. And again, penalties, they start getting momentum, and then the penalties come back. That is a big time killer of the momentum, man. You got penalties, unnecessary penalties like that, too. But Second and 11 is doable. It's not like it's un 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 unreasonable now, but still, you're getting positive yards, you're getting momentum, and it's just a story of the season. Yes, that's right. Well, Among other things. Little unhinged, but isn't it, once again, like you were saying earlier, it's a young team, uh, they don't have as This is their best experience. performance of the season. Yeah, oh, is there? Battling they know it's a lesson game, they know they want, to get the, they want to end this losing streak, and this is the best the best fight we've seen from the street team against these teams, and they are well within reach to make this a game, oh, yeah. this is a game. But they got to keep that, that offense has to start uh, helping out a little bit more. And if they can do that, like you said, it's going to be uh, a hard effort. And they could be good for the W. And we're just discussing something here. And we're currently in the first half. So 4.43. And Matt, 
The score is 7 for GT Grizzlies, 16 for the Pinty Skyhawks. Why don't we give a quick shout to the sponsors while you get the right Yeah, well, they sort it out between us. You can sort out yourself with the bacteria in the cycle, buying and selling new and used pallets. Shout out to Wrench It Up Plumbing, 416 850 Engage, 416. Zenith Athletic Performance. Of course, us at Gold Air Community. Now, an offensive penalty against the, uh, against the offense, but it was declined. Offside penalty against the offense. It was declined. From my understanding, Matt, that is what the discussion was about. <laughs> A boot, as we should say, up here in Canada. That's right. A? <laughs> Emph emphasis on the boot. <laughs> uh, this is a battle of uh, battle of the farm. Uh, GTA. Wait, an hour and a half, two hours east to you, find you. There's a lot of these teams are probably on the one day. Yeah. And second down and nine. GTA gets his offense, lines up. Boyd, looking for first down, takes a snap, drops back, looks left, throws left, and They almost had the interception, and it looks like the actual receiver stumbled actually in his route, so um, they might have just uh, missed time on the stumble in there, and then well, it's, uh, went right into the bread basket. Grizzlies catching a huge break that that was an, inter was an interception. Corner wanted that, and he he was running before he had the ball. He yeah, caught. he had open field. Yeah, he, he was ready. He would have taken that by the looks of it. Yep. So another big break, and uh, they would have kicked it off here. Maybe stepping sums up to some quality field position here, trying to get into the, into the end of the half uh, without letting this game get away. The geese are still hanging out there, and then I'm expecting the Skyhawks to make another appearance today. Good view over there, that's for sure. On the other side. The whistle there. We're going to need something out here on the floor. The substitution here is GT Guzzi's. Substitutions. Get themselves organized here. And here we go. Maybe there's some trickery plan. <laughs> nope, the kick is off and <laughs> That's the second block punt of the game. This special team uh, is not having a good time uh, kicking the ball away uh, for the GTA Grizzlies. Brinkley almost got the ball back too. So, ball on the 50. We can still not just back here. Definitely not great. And that will end the second Looking to put some more on the point, more points on the board here. Uh, just not the three minute warning here. Fair band, let's see if he gets it off. Takes a snap, hands it off. Yeah. Runs it up the middle, then cuts it up. Finds a bit of a hole, but only for a two yard gain. Just for a second to leave the Three minute warning. Just a half time. Score your three minute warning is seven points for your GTA Grizzlies and 16 for your Grizzlies. Skyhawks. Quinty Skyhawks. Again, looking to drive down the field here, Matt. They've been doing it all game. They've been getting in the red zone and capitalizing. That is for sure. That run game has been out for the middle big time. Three minute warning. That is the end of the three minute warning. Second down and eight. Quincy Skyhawks offense. Quarterback Fairbairn. Looking to get something going here. Takes the snap. Drops back. Looks left. Throws it deep. And he has the no beat. Oh, and he just runs it. He had a step on the defender too, and it was just underthrown. 
because yeah, he, he threw that right on target. He had everything but that defender in front of him. That was phenomenal coverage right there. I mean, I understand the attempt. They have been having their way offensively in the air on the ground, but that was great coverage by uh, the defender there for the Grizzlies. That was very good. And now kicking the ball off to the GTA Grizzlies. This gives the GTA Grizzlies offense just under about two and a half minutes left here in the half. And they can put some points up on the board going into half and really spark the boys, bring some momentum, and make this a one score game before half. Grizzlies did a great job forcing that three and out by the for the for the Clinton's uh, Clinton's Hawks. Yeah, the defense has done the drop there. They've given yes. the team every chance they have to keep this game a game, and it is a game because of this defense. And yeah. obviously, this is too tough. But we've seen both ends of the special teams. On the receiving end, we've seen it be amazing for these two these And on the kickoff end, we've seen two blocked kicks. That's right. So it's a bit of a double-sided sword there, unfortunately, for the special teams. It's been, uh, yeah, that has been the story of the game, is the special teams for sure. Yeah, it was a timeout for the Quinty Skyhawks. So, we talk about this, and they don't want to have a bad return here, so they're making sure that they have uh, everyone on the same page here. And, uh, Matt? Why don't you talk about our uh, our buddies that uh, pay the bills here? And <laughs> give it up for Trillium Recycling, buying and selling new and used pallets. Shout out to Wrench It Up Plumbing at 416-800-5050. Of course, there's Engage 416 and Zenith Athletic Performance. And of course, us here at Bowl Air Media. You need a quality video production for your games. And all in. You got it. Hey, they'll, they'll bring us, if you ask. You know <laughs> As for Matt and Kev, we'll know. We'll call your wedding. <laughs> and the punt is off. And GT is looking to receive it. And it's a very bounce. They let him go a bit short. They don't want to attempt it. Grizzlies pick it up and he goes. And this There we go. Gabbard! Yeah, yeah. Gary tried a little bit of trick rebound, letting the ball bounce. And he's playing his no yards. No yards on the carry that. Like the effort, but to no avail. You gotta do what you gotta do by any means. Keep it, uh, keep that defense on their toes. Keep them guessing. Uh, that's really uh, the only way you're gonna get ahead if you aren't predicting. And you know what? We have not seen the uh, beautiful instrumentist, instrumentist, in, instrumentalist that we were hearing uh, going on earlier in the game. That blues element, I, I, I miss it. Yeah, ironically, I was annoyed early and then uh, it went away now. Inside. Sounds of the game. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, it's great to see though, the fans out and they're making noise for both sides. And you just love to see that kid in junior football. This is what's up there. Skyhawk fans, they are loud, yeah. they are proud. Yeah. I've been having a great time. GT Grizzlies offense takes the field. Quarterback boy. Yeah. 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 Make this a one score game. Maybe drive down the field. Boy, takes a snap and that is offside for no. the offense. I'm good. Oh, thank you. So, 24 left on it Bit, uh, a bit excited there by Amida. He uh, jumps the gun a bit and that will bring it back to the five yards. And make it a first and 15. Not ideal to start this drive, but it happens. Penalties have been the name of the game, Kevin. Flags going against the Grizzlies, and it's, uh, you know, you're playing against yourself and the referee. You feel like I've been sitting this song all season, but that's a big time problem, but hopefully they can turn it around. Offense can't, can't uh, lose any knock to yard, but they don't need to. And they hand it off, runs up the middle. Yeah! yeah. And, yeah. and it looked like they had hurt that one when you first up here, Matt. Yeah, that was a big hit for Gary. Hopefully he's okay there. <laughs> so, yeah, for Gary running the ball uh, on the special teams, returning the ball, and now uh, and off. This guy has been anywhere and everywhere offensively for the Grizzlies. Yeah, invaluable play for this team. He's looking for that player of the game, that's for sure. Two minutes here. This is second in about 14. Oh, I know, I know, yeah. Looking for something even for the double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rolls it, defender in his face, gets the throw off. And Pass is dropped, and it wasn't the problem with the pass, it was accurate. I don't think he would have had the yards there to get a first down, but that pass was accurate, just dropped by it there by the receiver. Well, there's not much you can do. He put the ball right where he needed to, and the receiver just couldn't uh, couldn't hold on to it, which is a shame for the GTA Grizzlies offense. Once again, a player down. Player down for the Pitches got off, so 
I'm going to give a quick shout out to the sponsors here. Really in the slack when buying and selling new and used pallets. Then they got wrenched up on me. Give them a call 416 800 5050. Engage 416. Zenith Athletic Performance. And of course, us here at Global Air. Third down. I don't think you want to give Fairbairn now too much time on the clock here tonight, especially with them getting the ball back in the second half. That's very true, Kevin. This quarterback has been having a great game, receivers running. They've been having to do whatever they want offensively, and it shows on the scoreboard. Well, it has been a chippy affair with these two teams. Now, obviously, it's uh, they are not the best in the league by any means, and so any win is uh, going to be big for both these teams to get to the end of the season. So it's understandable that things are starting to get chippy, a little aggressive down there, but Grizzlies have got to keep their composure uh, because they've already had a lot of flags go against them, and this team, this Quincy Skyhawks team, has been taken advantage offensively from those flags. Takes the snap, hands it off, fakes the handoff, rolls left, throws it, has it in the net, and he has it! Offensively, the Quincy Skyhawks are taking full advantage by any means necessary, and Mr. Nick Sagetti has, he too, has been having himself a very good game. I mean, our next huge play, huge play have a deaf hand to the crowd as this truly looks like the player of the game. Um, but, well, we've got to see the second half. There's still a full half to play here. That's right. There's a lot more football to play. Grizzlies got to get it together, but that was a big time defensive collapse there. Uh, just miss, miss uh, judgment in the coverage, and it cost them big time. Oh, there's definitely not out of reach. There is time, like we said. You still have a whole half of football to play, and it's either you know one or two things could happen. You you make it a game, or it gets even more out of reach. And quite frankly, the offense really has to get it together here for the GTA Grizzlies. You got to start clicking, but you got to start gelling and finding a way to, as you would say, move those chains. Yeah, this defense has found ways to keep them in and slow down this offense. But then they're just right back out on the field. Yeah. And then, and then slowly and surely, you may see the fatigue start kicking in, and you can only make some mistakes. That's right. That's right. And and they're taking full advantage. It's not to say that this offense for uh, the Quincy Skyhawks are is bad. They are having a great game. Uh, quarterbacks really well. They're running the ball really well. We shouldn't know the Skyhawks weren't done because the geese were still chilling. They, they knew. Know. They know. All the geese. The Skyhawks will be kicking it off. <coughs> Again, he actually, I thought they were trying to kick the ball away from him once again there, but uh, pretty decent run for the Grizzlies, but uh, you know what, it's not, it's, he can't do it on his own. You know, special teams can't uh, be the ones to be one of these, 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 uh, these types of games. And the GTA Grizzlies offense will be taken over here. Yeah. 
trying to make something happen with about a minute 21 left in the night. Let's see if they just go with a uh, run play and run it out. But that being said, that Skyhawks do get the ball back after that, and that is, that is the one thing that you got to keep in mind. So yep. they, might, they may be making that for the other quarterback goal. Yeah. 121 is plenty of time to uh, move the ball down the field and uh, try and get a couple of points before that. And he looks to throw. Throws it right. Oh, oh. oh just a couple of feet out of the actual ball from those guys. But great idea, flag down there. There might have been a mishap on the route run there. Uh, going to Cliff Jerry in an attempt to you know, toss it to him, but uh, that was uh, way too short of a blow, and the receiver really didn't have a chance on it. Holding penalty. Will bring the ball back. Will be repeated at first down. So. Fine. They, uh, not find anywhere. They'd rather take the down and uh, test their efforts at second and ten. Let's see if the Greens can now make them pay for that decision. We will take a first down here and drive down the field. Then coach might reconsider that. We got to take one first down at a time, and I know that's a cliche and state the obvious here. But if they can do that, uh, that might be a uh, big block to some level. Actually, watching this game. Actually, it's crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, bring it to a third down there. That, uh... They are celebrating down there. Like, the pieces of the field. Like, I always think. Sprint these Skyhawks out there. They were expecting that run, and they stopped it once again. But the run has really been the only thing moving for the GTA Grizzlies for this game, and it's uh, it's rough that they're having so much trouble. The in the Skyhawks are circling their prey. They they've been circling from the jump game after that. Grizzlies uh, came out sweet. Yeah, after that after they gave up that opening touchdown, it's been all Skyhawks. I don't, I don't see why not, Kevin. If you can really, if you score here, that's going to be a really big time shot to the confidence of the GTA Grizzlies. So don't be surprised if you see them go to the air or pretty much try and score. Right now, the GTA Grizzlies just trying to bring this game into half. At this point, I think they just don't want to have any more damage that they need to. This is about 23 points for the Skyhawks. They're at seven. They're going to reach. But this, it could get out of hand uh, with a couple of strikes here. That's right, Kevin. Yeah, we're gonna get a couple of pops here, so let's see if you guys kick off. And the kick is off, but almost got there. Maybe the uh, fingertips on it. A couple bounces, picks it up, runs it right, and then the breaks one tackle and breaks another. Yeah, you slip it and slide in there, zip it and zip it and zag it, and he caused two of the GK Grizzly players to collide in. He was a uh, phenomenal run that looked like it was dead to rights at the beginning of the season. And that is actually unnecessary rough to the GTA Grizzlies kicker. And that will actually keep the GTA Grizzlies offense and yeah. make it a first down. And that, you know what that means? Move those chains. Not, 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 not what you asked for, but you'll take it. First down, first down, first down, my friend. And yeah, that was uh, uh, rough the, the kicker there. Um, so we just have the seconds left on the park with this GTA Grizzlies offense having a fresh air down. Maybe a fresh, uh, fresh new breath of air in this game. Looks like they are going to be a breath of air going to roll over here. Sure, I want to see what they got. No, Should be handed off up the middle. And he finds one hole for his two and gets about six yards there. Great run by our GTA Grizzlies offense. 
another great run by the GTA Grizzlies offense. They had a bunch of receivers that lined up on one side, a little trickery bit, and uh, it helped them out big time. That makes it a second and five. <coughs> second and four, I should say. And they shimmy and slide, and it's going to be about second and five. See if they just try to get a first down, maybe set up a field goal that way. The clock is ticking. The clock is going down. You need to get something off here. Maybe a hell of a And they hand it off, runs it left, runs it right. And then they Why not, Matt? Why not? Might as well go for it. Down by a couple. We oh, all no. played Madden growing up. <laughs> <laughs> we all been here growing up. <laughs> my, all, my Madden play here, I think, would be the four verticals with the one shape. Yeah. Looks like they actually take it in the half. Yep. They aren't going to risk it. And uh, that is the halftime here. Your halftime score here in that Terry Fox Field, Track and Field Stadium in Brampton is. So your GTA Grizzly 7 and the visiting Quincy Skyhawks oh. 23. And we will be back shortly. Just yeah. shout, shout the sponsor to Terry Fox Field Stadium. Uh, shout out to the sponsor here at the half. Shout out to Trillium Recycling, buying and selling new and used pallets. Wrench it up, plumbing. Give them a call at 416-800-5050. Engage 416. And of course, Zenith Athletic Performance. And a big time shout out to us here at Bowl Air Noon. We'll be right back. Hello. Thank you guys. Yeah, we're uh, yeah, we're resetting it right now. Yep, we're coming. That was quick. What's quick? Guys, come back in like seven minutes. Yeah, we're coming. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. You can go to that? I can try that. I can try that. You're on? He came just close this morning. Yes. Having a call. Because that's why you want to go roll in for me. <laughs> I'm gonna you guys. I can write down Yeah, I'm gonna finish with this. Okay. Hopefully, we get it working. <laughs> I think it's a matter of what code we're doing. Like we were, I could get oh, the Is there more than one code? Yeah. Let's, let's try one. Okay. Like Previous code was 7701. I don't even know what that is. Resume game. Wait. No, I don't want to resume. Select code. Try 6. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, is this good enough though? Yeah, because they, they can just adjust it up by like, I don't know how to set the other stuff. No yeah. As long as the score is working, that operator knows how to okay, use it. Okay, perfect. perfect. I think it was just the problem was the code was wrong. It was 7701, so I'm not sure if it's still being used for soccer. Maybe. And then the it did have a 90 minute clock. Yeah, and then the button layout's different for soccer than it is for football. Gotcha. Right? So now we should be able to do plus six, okay. and then plus one for perfect. to kick it up. Perfect. Okay. Appreciate it, guys. Cool. Because, yeah, before the score, it's like 97 to like. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was probably because the like these cards yeah. change for each sport, so the button layout was probably different. So Understood. that button probably did something different for a soccer game. Understood. Yeah. It was all planned. <laughs> okay. to like discourage the other team. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get into them. There you go. Who's, who's G this one's G2? The, the white, white guy. Yeah. Who's winning? Um, Quinn Twist. For Tia. Uh, it is 23 to 7. I asked him. 23 to 7. Yeah. Uh oh. You want to just set it? Papa loves you. I can. I'm assuming that it works. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Is that the guest side? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's 23. Seven, and then he can set the yeah, clock. Okay, perfect. Cool. Perfect. Now, for the camera upstairs, when do you want me to zoom in again? So I know. So I would start the play, get the whole film, and then zoom in during the play. And after the play, try to get a clear number. So like this, basically. So I'm following the play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's every soft dark, soft dark, soft dark. Mm -hmm. save me. That'll literally save me about four hours. So like, no, of course, yeah. No experts, no nothing. Yeah, yeah. Just the first half? Okay, great. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. 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 OBS has the capability to do all that. Yeah. Actually, she hasn't frozen yet today. So that's, that's been a surprise for me. Yeah. Still no, no it's replay, but yeah. Uh, we will figure that out. Yeah, I, can see that. I actually don't. I have water in my car. <laughs> sure? Water? Huh? <laughs> Go for smoke anyways. Are you? Yeah. 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 That's good. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, I can. Thank you. What do you want to do? Oh, yeah. I've been going up and down. No, I know, I know. It's gotten to that point. You've been, you've been doing right by me today, buddy. I, got, I, I, can, I can get you. <laughs>
Oh, it's shit. Sorry, I don't know. So, how'd you get into uh, commentating? I came in just asked. Before, just for, uh, I do comedy. Oh, say what? Yeah, stand up. Yeah. Both of us actually do yeah. that. Where do you guys do it? Like everywhere, you know? We're from Durham, so a lot of times we're like, Durham, but we do Toronto. I live in Toronto now. So okay. Nice. Yeah, uh, we're in GTA yeah. Where do you live? I live in uh, Etobicoke. I'm like yeah. on the border of Toronto. Yeah, that's where I live now. I'm at like Royal York and Dundas now. Yeah. I did a. Uh, yeah, like I, I did stand up comedy for a while too. I did a documentary. Uh, yeah, so I had like this persona that I was fucking putting on, so I went to like actual comedy shows. I just got up on stage and like recorded. What persona were you doing? <laughs> it was a fucking uh, like a failed Toronto rapper slash actor, uh, like the typical shit. I met them. Yeah, I, I'm sure you have. Me too. Like, Real ones. Yeah, I started out making music videos, so just like you, like I met yeah, a shit of them. So yeah, based my character off of them, and like we recorded for like four nights in a row, recorded the audience's like reaction. It was they were loving it. Oh my god, they loved it. What like, was it? like they got a uh, like I they asked for me twice to go back up on stage encore, and the people in the club were like, we've never had that fucking happen, and I was just in character the whole time, acting like a dumbass. It was so. What's your name? It was J Man, but I had like orange do rag, all orange <laughs> on. It was like. Most ignorant. Yeah. Contra Chilera's character. Well, it's so good. Like everybody was so confused because, like, yeah, it was just good. I would just get up there and start beefing with the audience because they didn't find my jokes funny. It was like, <laughs> oh, it was the funniest shit. They loved it. They loved it, man. They loved it. I'm talking to Yeah, it's it's so dumb. That's good. You gonna do it anymore? Nah, this was for a mockumentary type of shit. Uh, like the office type of vibe? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you needed like actual stage footage? Yeah, yeah. It was good. It was nerve wracking the first half, the second, third, it was like, alright. Can I do behind the character? It's easier. It's a lot easier. Yeah. Yep. It's so good. Alright, should we start streaming to it? Finish your video. Not glizzy, man. We should put in. I know what it is. I know what it is. I know what the kids be saying. The glizzy gobbler over here. Mm hmm. I don't even care. Because it's funny. Barbados. So, I dropped it, sure? so you gotta do that, oh. and then it'll yeah. bet. <laughs> so you can eat a man camera. Um, we're set up here. Water's, water's in, in here too, boys, if you need. Okay, we're on. 15 minutes only. Let me switch that. Okay, 150, we're good to go. It's behind the scenes, brother. Yup. Yeah. All that shit you see on TV is all the stuff behind it. <laughs> Still has a spot in her house? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. My spot is there if you want to. Shit. Here at Terry Fox Track Field Stadium, the GTA Grizzlies at 
Skyhawks. Seven. Seven. Oh. Visiting with the Skyhawks at 23. Grizzlies kicking it away to the Skyhawks. Here. To start the second half. And, uh, Matt, what do they need here for the second half to turn things around here? We just Let's need a an offensive goal for a juice. Something's got a, a big play to get him going, even on the defensive end, or something to get some points on the board. Maybe some turnovers. Uh, maybe the spark. But the offense does need to step and the Grizzlies get the kick off. And the second half is underway here. Grizzlies taking up the return. Runs it up the middle. Runs it right. Has some space to the 40. He's still going. He's taking it out right here. The return for the Quinty Skyhawks to start the second half here. Big time stop. He looked like he was on his way out there, but uh, number 99 with the stop, and he is. Big hit. Yeah, he's, he's, he's Jack, man. But that's what I'm saying. He gets jacked up with a play like that, and that might uh, do what it takes to, you know, even inspire this offense. And this uh, quarterback for, your Quinty, for the visiting Quinty Skyhawks is Brody Fairbairn. Had his way with GTA, went back then at home again in Quinty. Now they're visiting here at Brampton, and now he's also having another game behind him. Three for two hundred eighty-four yards in that last game. He's going for a heck of a run. Yeah, on rough for this game, I'd say. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lines it up, takes a stop, hands it off, runs up the middle, and there's Grizzlies defender. The ball is loose, and there is on top of it. We'll see. It looks like maybe the Grizzlies go away from the call, and that is the Grizzlies! Grizzlies ball! What a turnover! What a way to start the second half if you're the GTA Grizzlies. Just like I said, if they can get a big play, that's gonna defensively like that fumble. Uh, hopefully that's gonna that's the jolt that the offense is gonna need to uh, get into this game. Great play, great heads up uh, by Bruce. They started the first half off with a two for ten touchdown in the second half with a fumble recovery, but last time they lost that momentum. This time can they carry it over through the remainder of the game here? If they can avoid penalties, unnecessary flags, I don't see why not, Kevin. I really don't. Yeah. Looks like quarterback for the line and up with the offense here. Skyhawks back. Finds him and what a catch! First down, Grizzlies move won't change! And that is just the way you want to. You couldn't draw up the start of the game any better, eh, Matt? Good, you could not. Good, Jerry, great catch. He's been all over the field today. Boy, great toss. Like I was. I, I'm going to say it again. Give me the money, Jerry! Give me the money! You got to give him something, man. That was a great, great effort by the Grizzlies. I got to keep this momentum moving, try and get some points on the board. No unnecessary penalties, stay focused, and you got yourself to get the rhythm. First time we've seen this season a bit of quarterback for the man in the handoff. Up the middle, tripping, and he finds a hole, and he gets about a gain of three. That's exactly what you want right there, Kevin. Run the ball, pick up a little bit of yards, keep keep the ball moving, make the right decisions. And try not to use yards, try not to get any penalties, and you're going to, I'm going to keep saying it. So every time I do say it, I move the ball. Now it is about second and... Six, I would say here, Matt. Yep. Maybe even seven. Roughly in between in there. Yep. Couple of yards. A little bit out of time. Just a long time. Great start. Grizzlies offense driving. Quarterback boy. Lining up. Looking for more. Receivers in motion. Takes the snap. Rolls it left. Trying to find the man. Throws it. Has a beat. And the catch is made by the Grizzlies. Another completion. No flags. Another first down. Move those chains. Great catch, great effort there. Lost his shoe on that effort with Jerry, but he's, he, this man has been all over the field connecting with Boyd, and honestly, I like this effort starting off this half. Nike's on my feet, keep the completions complete. Ooh. <laughs> A little Mac Miller this, reference this there. Guy. I don't even know if he's wearing Nikes. He could be wearing anyway. <laughs> Whoever the sponsors are. And this is the first time we're seeing this offense drive into this. Can they carry this on? Finding a spot down here. 23 to 7 currently. Boy, lining up. Runs it off, runs it left, finds the hole, and not enough of one as the Quinty Skyhawks defenders clog that. Take him down for about a gain of maybe a couple. Throw, run, run, throw. They're mixing it up offensively. And because the throwing game is starting to click for this GTA Grizzlies offense, they're able to mix it up and keep this Quinty Skyhawks on their toes. They don't know what's coming. Let's go, Quick orders to coach. Let's go over here. 
second and eight here in the red zone. And they're down 23 to seven. Start of the second half. They want points. They need points. Better late than never here. Let's see. They want to take a high risk play. Takes the drop back and goes right. Looking for the end zone. And it is. Big time stop in the red zone. They don't want to force that at that point. You can give away the potential for a field goal, potential for some points, and uh, the field goal would have made it a two score. You know, two score game. Oh yeah, I understand. I, I mean, I understand the uh, the attempt there, but uh, just the placement right idea. definitely right wasn't idea. correct. Right. So, uh, yeah. Who are the players? Hey, maybe we see the defense apply some pressure here and. Uh, Potentially push for safety. Well, the Heath Mantis has come out on fire, so hopefully they can keep it up. Be a hold somewhere there too, so let's see what the play, what the penalty is. Yeah, it's been a chippy game, and uh, so that's not even surprising. They were hungry for a safety. They were. Quinta uh, Skyhawks uh, offense has been very good to make him. Um, it was an unnecessary <coughs> roughness face mask. It was a big ball. You know, a fresh set of downs, pushing the ball up to about the 18 yard line there. would rather start the drive from here. So Any not positive yards or great yards? That's just how the game goes. Hand off up the middle. And he heard he's right on top. Ball comes out. And it looks like they're not having none of that. Yep, we're saying he was down before the ball came out. Obviously, a fumble would be great uh, on this side of the field where they're located. But even still, good stop by the Grizzlies. Defensively, they just got to keep this up, keep up this effort, and try and get the offense back on it on the field. Putting a lot of pressure on Fairbanks there. Uh, excellent. Yep. But that was that was just great pressure by the Grizzlies there, uh, for making them force them to uh, make that throw and put them on second down. Momentum killer for the uh, Quinty Skyhawks and a big time break for the GTA Grizzlies. Second and third down. Mm -hmm. Hey, maybe we saw a couple kickbacks today, maybe a few more touchdown here, why not? It is the Canadian Junior Football League, right? By any means, that's uh, what you need. Oh, and they, yeah, we may see them actually see them. Take a knee. But we'll see what they decide to do here. They have some options. 
and, and I feel like this uh, Sky has some confidence in their special teams. They've been getting kicked off all right. Yep. Just returning to the He is not to give up uh, too much, too good a field position here. Which is not a bad place to start if you're not. The Jets and Grizzlies defense doing it again. That is two great defensive drives in a row for them. Hopefully this never time never good decisions can good. be made in this red zone and the GTA Grizzlies can come away with some points. Great stop by the Grizzly or by uh, the Skyhawks there. They knew the run was coming and uh, they were able to stop it. Second and nine for the Grizzly offense. Last time we did see uh, Boyd push it into the end zone for something that didn't do a turnover. Here, I'm not sure if uh, they're thinking field goal here or they just have touchdown in mind. Uh, who's going to find out? You've got to come away with some points here, Kevin. That's uh, just the fact of the matter. It would be rough to be in this position again. Takes a snap. And he hands it off. Oh, yeah. Run to the left. Finds one hole in. There's a flag down. And I don't think that would be enough. But lines him up for a potential field. Great effort there by uh, the running back. Uh, break a little trickery there on that. Uh, Let's see if in that fits. Uh, maybe a hole in the offense. Let's see what the call is here. It is a holding against the GTA Grizzlies. We keep checking down. <laughs> That is one way to look at it, but once again, the flags played a big time part in this game against the Grizzlies, and its penalties have been caused in a big time. Maybe run the ball and just set up good field goal position for the kicker, or uh, we see that uh, quarterback Boyd, that, that coach wants to trust Boyd and throw another one in the end zone and see if they can get a comeback on that way. Yeah. There, great throw, great catch um, by the offense there, and now they're in you know good time for a field goal. It would be even better if they get first down too. Unnecessary roughness. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like it's really an unnecessary roughness call against the Skyhawks, which is going to give a fresh set of downs and put the ball on the goal line here. Um, and GT Grizzlies offense catch another massive break here. The longest break here, and they have to take advantage of it, just like how the well, a pretty, or a pretty uh, sky and when they're in the red zone, they've been knocking on the door, scoring. GT Grizzlies have got to do the same. And I think, if I had to guess, fresh out of bounds, first round, in the red zone, I think we will see one play to start off with a safe play. I'm not betting against you this time, Kevin, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> they may go for the throw here, a little tricky, but it's not probably going to give it a time. Twenty-four. 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 Tw
Oh yeah, they, they, call, they called the trainer out and drink shaman. Oh. Great time. Let's uh, give a shout out to the to the people who have uh, been supporting the Canadian Junior Football League and supporting the GTA Grizzlies football team. Well, yeah, let's do that. Uh, Trillium Recycling, buying and selling new and used pallets. Of course, wrench it up. Plumbing, give them a call at 416-800-5050. Engage 416 and Zenith Athletic Performance. And, of course, us here at Bowl Air Media. You can imagine it. We will create it. Day job, although all of them are in school, and yeah. uh, you can, a lot of these people get pleasure. This cannot fall into injury, so you never want to see it. Well, good to see game. a guy get up and run off. Don't know about it. It is a rough game, and you got to be safe after. So, as long as you're good. Second and goal. One yard line. Look at the punch it in. And we did see a QB run last game. What do you think of your QB run? Again? That's the one offensive touchdown we've seen. That's true. The Quincy Skyhawks, they just weren't uh, allowing anything in there. They knew that run was coming and they were able to stop it. But just because you know it's coming doesn't mean it's real stop. And quite frankly, that's uh, exactly what the Quincy Skyhawks are getting. A timeout called here as the GT Grizzlies want to discuss it. They have a great opportunity here sitting at the, on the goal line. I think they will do want to go for it. They aren't even looking at the football leader right now. No. Um, what do you think Coach is saying there, uh, to the quarterback goal? Uh, you know what? Try it again. I, I would, at this point, you might as well try and run it again. And you don't think uh, in the air, maybe a little play action and all that? And I, it's not to say that I, I lack the confidence in Boyd here, but uh, he hasn't been connecting very well in these situations. So you kind of want to go with the safe play. Uh, and that would be, you know, another attempt to run it. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a tough thing. I think it's a tough call, but... At some point, you really need to have to, or even have to throw it. Though, yeah. Right? But on the goal line, here, yeah, I think you're right. I think they actually got pushed back. They were in the one, they were the two now. I don't know if that's going to be the fact of the decision making here. Um, that extra yard may be a little more inclined to throw it. But the way they're running back stretching his legs, I feel like he might be in the ball. Stop, boys! Interception in the end zone. That's a that's a, not only a mental kill, that's a confidence. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They've had opportunities to get into the back. That's right. And they are uh, not giving themselves any danger. That's uh, that's that is rough, Kevin. That's exactly what that is, uh, and it's exactly what I didn't want. But, uh, that's why you know you don't want to vote there. If you convert on both of those last two red zone possessions, yep. Uh, this game is just going to be too quick right now. This game, if you, even with two quick conversions, it's tight. It's, right? it's not a game of games. It's on the board. So <laughs> you just have to say, you have to look internally and be like, what, what are we doing here? Why, why are we. Yeah. Yeah, it's right. What is happening here? You can't have back to back and red zone opportunities to get back in the game. Skyhawk is taking a fair bit. Looks like makes the completion. And that's enough for a first down. And then one of his favorite targets. First down, Skyhawks! The Skyhawks fans are having themselves a time right now, and that also is not a big time help for GTA Grizzly when the opposing fans are making so much noise in your own building. Yeah, this, uh, this GTA 
individual team can give us a room for the opportunities that they fought this game, they've been in this, but the Skyhawks walked out here, they scored, and they scored a tough stuff for them. Oh, and that defense once again. Throws it up the middle and oh. gets a oh. hit on it by the JTA Grizzlies defender there. That is number two, Felix Bofori, the defensive back, getting his hand on that, breaking up that play, which looked like it could have been a complete change. Yep, and holding his hand there, hopefully he's uh, not injured. So he's just gonna walk it off there. That's one you can definitely add to your video reel there, Mr. Ofori. That was a great defensive effort. Uh, makes it second down. Quinty uh, Skyhawks. And uh, I think there is one fan trying to outdo me on my first down calls. That was uh, <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard him all game, but I uh, heard him that time. Yeah, and Fairman steps back. Throws it up the middle, has a man, and gets one hand on it just enough to break up the pass. He was there, and he put it there, and just enough. Phenomenal defensive stop, but uh, Fairbank there was an absolute bullet. Um, and it was right on target, too. But great coverage once again by the DJ Grizzlies defense, helping out any way they can to now get the team back again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Defense got to get off the field, got to get. Offense, one more chance. No points for this offense. Uh, and we're here. We're at the four seven four, just north of the fourth minute mark of the third quarter. The only touchdown has been a special teams touchdown, which right here may be your opportunity to put on some points. Actually, this might be one of the most dangerous times we might see this Grizzlies uh, team. First play of the game, and ever since then, it's just been rough. Yeah, is that first down? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is going to be almost blocked. Gets it off. Gonna bounce out of bounds. Not as good field position to start off with as their last two possessions. Yeah, to work for this. Either way, it doesn't matter. You can be right up at the goal line if you're going to be throwing interceptions like that. It's, it's you know, it doesn't matter where you are. You hope you, you hope they learn from it. Oh God, they! Because the play call wasn't bad there. Like there was a good rollout. There was yeah. What the plays the players there, but the execution just doesn't always go as planned. And that's been two drives in a row that that has occurred. So hopefully, uh, Boyd is not. Uh, that one he didn't look like he was forcing. The first one was forcing the coverage. Yeah. There, there was players open. There was one of that play. Yeah. So. You have seen the improvement there, but the result, unfortunately. He just don't want anybody's confidence to be shaken. And, and you want to make that push. I mean, I don't think your transmitters can be taken. First down, midfield. Takes it out, heads it off, runs it, finds a hole, breaks one. The second guy is right on him. Skyhawks say no. That has to be by the Is it dead? The second man on him to ensure he gets down. But that will be. Three yard gains and the GTA Grizzlies offense makes it a second and minute. Negative. Well, the run game has not really been the problem for uh, this offense. It's been working, it's been clicking a little bit, and that's what's been uh, the, the, shining, the shining light of this uh, offensive side for the GTA Grizzlies. Boyd looking for a first down here. Give me one down. flash. Takes a snap, looks left, throws it left, completion made. Well, juke right, and the arms get around him. Great coverage by yeah, the yeah. Quincy Skyhawks there. But right, you know what? Rush. That's a good connection by the quarterback and receiver for the GTA Grizzlies. So well, it wasn't a positive gain, it was a positive effort there for the Grizz. Yeah, I would admit, uh, maybe it's just going to take about a minute to reset and then you got to make it up to you. Knowing where you're on the field there, but uh, try a little trickery and sometimes it works, and unfortunately, that's how it Yeah. I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsors though. Well, you know that Trillium Recycling, buying and selling new and used pallets. Also, we can sell it to the Grand Street Art Plumbing, 416-850-50. Engage 416. Just give it another minute. And oh, it's, it's off again. Performance. It does. Well, there. Like, you know, kick is off. And it's low. It's one bounce. He comes up, picks it up, he's running up the middle, finds the edge left, and he's taken down there with what is a great effort there. He would have had field if he got around him. Phenomenal tackle. Phenomenal tackle. 
for the, your special teams there, keep them in the field. And you know what, this is yeah, a great we, field position for on. the Grizzlies to keep uh, Quincy Skyhawks back. So if they can force three and out here, that's uh, a <laughs> good <laughs> He had that edge. That was a yep. massive dive tackle. And they went out and took him down. We've seen, we've seen uh, that was in return there. That was in the 13. So you get it. Have been all over the game. He's got the great a little wider than that. that. No, he's trouble. Yep. Uh, but this is fair, fair. Yeah, that's good. Hands it off again to Segetti, who's going to find one edge, and he's going, and he's taken down there. Oh, the harder fumble. There's a ball out there. Just a second after the game. Segetti has been all over this game, man. He's been running and uh, <coughs> running and gunning out there, and between him and QB, they are quick and offensive. We'll see. And about five here for the Quincy Skyhawks offense. And Brody Fairbairn is having himself a game, looking for a first down, and uh, luckily the. Uh, they haven't had an offense pushing back against them, so he has the wiggle room and there's a flight. And um, we are not sure if that's a new player. He's an injured player. He's uh, 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 walking off and hopefully everything's okay. We check the training staff. Training staff always doing a great job. I feel like knock on wood though. Compared uh, to some other games in, in uh, heavy heat, we, I feel like we aren't seeing as frequent of injuries uh, yeah. in this game as <laughs> late in the season, which is a positive sign. Yep. Last uh, the last game, they were they were going down quite a bit, and there were a lot of you know subs coming in, and that cost them, you know, because guys potentially just playing positions at the point you should be playing, but it's a next man up attitude. You got to have that in any in any game. That's a fresh set of downs. Fairbairn is going to the first in the year. Ball moves out. Offense. Gets it. 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 Awesome pen, dude. Skyhawks fans are fired up. They're running back to our Quinny tonight. Yep. Pumping their ACDC. Is that, what, is that what they play out there in uh, Bridget? Yeah. Maybe tragically hip. Great <laughs> <laughs> Taking him back to Bob Cajun, buddy. <laughs> Bear Baron takes a snap, hands it off front up the middle end. He gets a gain of about three yards. Oh, Let's see what they call him. Let's see what they call him. And it is Grizzly football! <laughs> Turnover, fumble recovery, Grizzly takeover, midfield. What a turnover here. We've seen multiple, multiple turnovers here for this team. We've seen them get to the red zone, and they finally really capitalize on these opportunities. Listen, it's not the defense is looking. They're trying to get the, uh, the uh, truly recycling player of the game. They, that entire defensive line, uh, great force fumble. They've been coming up with big plays. And it's the offense now has to has to try and do something here because it's not going to. This game is not being lost on the defensive end. There's no that about that. It's, uh, the offense not being quick to get things together. GT Grizzlies are picking up these fumbles like Trillium Recycling does. You know, <laughs> with <laughs> trash. I feel like that yeah, that okay. sounded better in my head, Matt. I feel you, man. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be first down midfield here for the GT Grizzlies offense. Top of the fourth. You got a score here. Top of the fourth quarter. Top of the fourth quarter. And uh, hand off up the middle. Finds one hole and can't find the second. But we got about two yards here. Beginning of the fourth quarter. The score is still 22 for the visiting Quincy Skyhawks. And 7 for the home GT. What did the Grizzlies need to do in this last quarter here to turn the tide? You got to take care of the football for the rest of this game. Uh, make the right decisions. Do not force anything. And honestly, you can get right back in this game with a score. But it's not out of reach. Yeah, and you just look back to those missed opportunities earlier in the yep. game and 
how this game is going to be way more injured, but that being said, it's good. If you get a score here, then I'm right back in. Can't cry over spilt milk, Kevin. Second and six here. Boy, hands it off. Runs up the middle. Oh, yeah. 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 Not getting up anything. They are hovering, they are surrounding, they are circling, they are hungry. They're waiting on that run and they're forcing the GTA Grizzlies to have to throw the football. <laughs> and that's been a problem for them this game. Yeah, it's going to be third down and uh, we see the offense stay on the field here. Yeah. Uh, the Grizzlies are saying all or nothing. Last home game of the season. Why well, go out without a fight? Sure. And plus, the way the defense is playing, like, I think they trust the midfield, even if they didn't. Yep, yeah, the defense has been doing great, so. Let's see what Boy can do. Third and about six. I'm looking for it. I'm looking for that first down. Throws it quick. Has the man. And three. Sky Hawkers in the year. Flying around, getting their hands on it. And the geese are f fired up, splashing in the puddle there. <laughs> Going for a quick throw and catch there, and once again throwing into triple coverage. Uh, I'm really not sure about the decision making now, by it was open off the jump, off the jump, but um, I think we had to have more break. heat on that to yep. get because uh, where the ball was placed, it went kind of collapsed. The ball was in there long enough for the defense to surround. But off the jump, he did have a step. If he do a line drive deep and put him in motion, run there. That he did have Abdul, you on the radio? I almost saw the third interception of the half, Kevin, and that's uh, exactly what you don't Abdul, want to bring out. Turnover down. Yeah, the defense worked so hard to get that fumble, and now Stay right back on. Taking control here, midfield, hands it off again. Runs right. Oh, oh. Met by GJ Grizzly in it. Oh, I thought the ball was going to be an open. That's a five yard game. Who we are? Another player we're starting to see more and more active as yep. the day has progressed. Yeah. They've been running the football. Everyone's been running the football uh, with pretty. Uh, Skyhawks here, and quarterback play has also been very good. They're putting pressure on him and they're capitalizing on that run. Fair fair. It's been a good game too. He's been consistent, he's been comfortable in there back there. He hasn't looked like uh, he's been pressured too much. By Correct. The Grizzlies, uh, defense. He has not faced a lot of pressure, and that's why he's relaxed, he's poised, and he's able to make great decisions because of the lack of pressure. Yeah, he's it up. Takes the snap. Play action. Oh, Rolls out to the left. Looking deep. He throws it, has the man, gets his, almost gets his hands on it, just a bit over him, but what an effort. Single man but coverage there, but it was uh, the right coverage. Great effort by the defense once again. They, they've been holding their own in this in this second half. And third down and uh, six yards. It looks like the Skyhawks trust their defense and will be kicking it off. Oh, the geese uh, might be. Oh, and the geese are making it known for the Skyhawks' support. <laughs> Cruising uh, through over the geese. <laughs> are they calling it or? They are calling it. Sorry? They, they do not think that the Skyhawks are going to lose this game. And, uh, <laughs> They're trying to trying to beat the traffic. Hey, they have a flight to catch, Kevin. <laughs> beat the traffic to follow. Uh, <laughs> season is changing. <laughs> I think they gave a good camera. They might have even give you a little camera show there. They knew where we were from. Trying to look good. Trying to get a deal. Stick together. And I uh, kick it off. Ooh, oh, got him in there, but not enough. Takes one the balance. He will return it. Yeah! Runs it. Finds the edge and he's going to turn it in the field for turn it in. I've seen him do it. Here with a big, big little run there, there picking up some yards. Uh, There's some volunteer referees in the crowd that are calling some penalties, but uh, we don't, we don't need can't it. have volunteers. Yeah, we don't need any more flags for the uh, <laughs> GTA Grizzlies there, so no, no extra loss. We got it. We got a good team. I think everybody at home watching, the stadium watching, always thinks that they are uh, one of the referees. You know, coaching, coaching for coaching. Coaching. <laughs> so they, they it's not referee slash coach. Yep. <laughs> GM. The old armchair quarterback. I am one of those. I'm a veteran armchair quarterback, actually. <laughs> Where are we all? That score is still at 1045 left in the tournament. Let's go, Jason! Seven points. Takes up a possession here at the 26 yard line. Quarterback for the Takes the snap, hands it off. Tries to run left, but he will be able to lose the yard. 
Matt, what about a quick shout out to the sponsors here? It's been, like, it's been a great season here in, uh, in GTA, and uh, we couldn't have done it without the wonderful sponsors. You're going to do it without throwing the segment, buying and selling new and used pallets. So to wrench it up, let me give them a call at 416-800-5050 for some gauge 416. Zenith Athletic Performance and us, Volair Media. If you can imagine it, we will uh, go ahead and create it for you. Second and 13. Boy, takes the snap. Rolls right. He looks for one. He makes the throw. And it's overthrown. And not even within the reach of a couple feet in front of the receiver. Right idea. Poor execution there by uh, Mr. Boyd. We have been able to push that uh, yards yep. after catch and push for a first play. Uh, that was fast. That was a fast grade out there. Yeah, and uh, missed opportunities, I would say. Steve, for the Yep. Today. 100%. So it is not night, the sun is out. It is the afternoon. There's plenty of time in the day, at least. What beautiful weather for this time of September. Well, you guys uh, feel like a lot of times we get chillier weather, but we're, we are all in t-shirts. Yeah, it's a little cool out there, that's for sure, but uh, it's not unbearably cold. Probably be married. Ha 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 and he has some room, and that is, again, number 13. You see all of this game for the Spiders. It is, uh, he's had a phenomenal game. Phenomenal game when you're holding it. Who have you got so far, if you're picking, uh, for 20 for the trivia player? Do you think Segetti, or do you got Fairbrand at this point? Uh, you know what, it might be Segetti, quite frankly. He's had himself a hell of a game, man. He seems to be all over the, all yeah. over the, every, everywhere you see, all since the beginning, you've seen 13. Yeah. QB, but a QB, uh, Fairbrand, he's been making phenomenal decisions. He's been getting the ball. Hasn't made too many mistakes. Correct. He's made the right decisions. It just shows you guys are putting in work in practice, yeah. listening to what the coaches say, and it just looks like a case of preparation paying out. Yes. yes. Yeah. That's the difference here. Yeah. And you want to get that, you know, uh, uh, illustrious or the mysterious second win of the season. We would both be against this GTA Grizzlies team, and that's uh, a positive going into the end of the season. And uh, the Grizz got to find some way to score, and that in itself would be a problem as well. I need your help. Oh, you Guys, mention call lead in the crowd. Mention call lead in the crowd. That's the president. Oh, well, President Tate call lead in the graphic. Yeah, leading this whole organization, the leader of this movement, a wonderful lady. Um, always interacting with the fans, and big shout out to you, the president. President Six one four eight five three. I wonder what the prize is here. You should have gone home. Thanks, guys. Perfect. Six one four eight five three. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's money on the line. Something is to give us the stadium back so we can show. Six one four eight five three. That'd be nice. Back. Fairbairn taking the snap, throwing the screen pass, and oh, we got a little trick play. Similar play to what they ran earlier uh, and scored with that same uh, long bomb there. Yeah. 19 or 19. That was number 19 on the touchdown. Isaiah Lockwood. Lockwood locking down that ball. 
able to get the uh, big time touchdown. There was a little uh, fumble, or it looked like he was fumbling it a yep. bit, but uh, last second, got those fingertips on it, and. Uh, The visual that never looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Dragging him out like a kid in a candy store. It's like uh, me on a Monday morning, my friend. <laughs> Getting dragged out of bed. Hopefully, no seriousness. Hopefully he's okay. All jokes aside, Matt. Oh, well, you, you there, was more to to there was a score, too. <laughs> was a and it reminds me of bringing three and three two off. Uh, well, they clean up uh, the man down in the field. Yeah. Charlie Cycling has to clean it up the streets. Yeah, yeah I guess they do clean up the streets, very well. They don't just do they recycle. They're truly in recycling, buying and selling new and used pallets. Shout out to Wrench It Up Plumbing. Give them a phone call at 416 800 50 Of course, there is Engage 416 in Zenith Athletic Performance and us at Bull Bear Media. If you can imagine it, we will create it. And uh, we're in the fourth quarter with the score currently at 29 points for the Quinty Skyhawks, 7 points for the Quinty Skyhawks, 8 for 1 on the clock, and uh, Skyhawks are going for the extra point attempt. Um, do you think the Beast were right? Do you think this game's out of reach, Matt? They must have known something we didn't. Um, but quite frankly, there's no, you know what, you get, a, you get a score, you get an opportunity to bring it back. You know what I mean? It, it all it takes is one good play, and you can be right back in the game or at least uh, put a little fear in, uh, in, in the Quincy Skyhawks. Still getting from the sideline, you're hoping that means Yeah, where's that? Lengthy time. You did go down hard uh, in an attempt to stop Mr. there from scoring, and it's uh, it's a little, a little, a little grim over there. Now, while we got the break here, let's uh, last game of the season here. Let's shout out our coaching staff here, man. Why don't we give them a shout out? Our lovely coaches for the GTA Grizzlies. Well, well, everyone in the organization. Yeah, yeah shout out to the head, head coach uh, Mike Whiskey, assistant head coach Mike Walsh, uh, running back coach uh, Mikey Delicious, uh, RB coach Robert Glenn, and of course special teams coach Mark Holder. And our president, uh, Colleen Holder, and our trainer, uh, Cassie Booten. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, GTA looking, um, at only the seven start to the season, one of the last game of the season. Um, what do you think they need to do going into next season to, to start um, changing this to more winning culture? I know well, well, the player is up and walking off with the help of some teammates. Uh, Glad to see how ball is It's all about experience, Kevin, and you know what? You you can learn a lot from losing, I would say. So you can definitely sort things out, get uh, field goal. Right? Get that extra point. It's a beautiful area to visit, um, uh, especially in the fall, in the autumn time. Mm. Yeah, a lot of color changing on the trees. It's a uh, nice crisp autumn air, and the fishing is uh, not bad either. Beer, fishing, and crisp autumn air. That sounds pretty good. Hopefully it's on the... Uh, it's on the a beautiful going. drive home with uh, this rain stop, these clear skies, Quinty with the wind, uh, potentially here, if they can close this out. I think they will have a nice, beautiful drive home to Quinty. And the sun will still be up, I think, for that drive. and. Uh, Unfortunately, DTA is, uh, is not looking like they 
and getting the result that they wanted at the start of the game with that really good start that they had. So you could not have asked for a better start. Literally, you were kicking turf for a touchdown. We've seen them push back in the second half here. They started really well and had some opportunities. And just again, capitalizing, capitalizing. Well, some fun. Those defense has been on the field a lot. And he can't oh. stop them all. That's the trouble. But he picks it up, runs it up the middle, and he finds out about 15, 20 yards to get to about the 32. Grizzlies offense takes the field here. And what do you think here? Do you, uh, if you're the coach, are you just looking for potential uh, matchups and players? Are you thinking next season here? Or are you just trying to get your first of the season here? Like, do you start to throw your secondary players in and see what you got? Or? I, I think ideally you're just looking for whoever is available. Like, I'm not saying uh, take Boyd out by any means. He's had some unlucky breaks, but here you're just trying to connect some plays, move the chains. And Have some consistency. Yeah. You, know, you don't want to mix things up too much. You want to keep with what you're going to build on that. Correct. In this offense. Take <laughs> Looking for something. The offense has put out no points yet. They're trying to change that narrative before the end of this game. They've been close. Very close. A couple times. And they hand off right up the middle. And he jukes it right. And he great run for about eight yards there for the Grizzlies. Making it second and short. It's one of the more better ones you've seen. Him. <laughs> They've had a couple. And it's, it, I'll tell you what, it hasn't happened the one game. It hasn't been uh, an issue. It hasn't been uh, offensively the special teams, really. It's just, you know, not being able to throw and connect consistently. As, uh, and that's, you know, that's a big part of football is being able to throw it. And if you can't do that, you take away a whole element of your offense there. And it's really difficult when they're expecting the run because, you know, you throw it. Just Minding up second and number four. Boy. Receivers in motion, drop back, throws it, looking long, and he finds the man! Let's see what they call completion! No flags down, what a catch! Move those chains! Grizzlies first down. Boy, hitting the deck here. Is that boy down or? Yeah. No, I think it's a good thing Amir, no connection on you again. Yeah, I think that was uh, the, uh, Ryan Foley, I thought. Yep. Offensive line, no problem. Protector of the QB. You never want to see that as your quarterback. You uh, have a lot of respect you know for those linemen. You can find your protectors there. Yeah. The nope. And uh, okay, it's going to shout out to the oh, sponsors oh, okay. here. And, uh, well, they, uh, when they check in, and hopefully. If you uh, hold the menu button there, and it? change it to maybe channel. Trillium recycling. I'll do the same on this end. Silly noon, a used pallet. So hold the menu button to unlock. And then the up and down arrows. You may have to unrig it, and if that's the case, let me know. I'll toss Force the tape to you. Media. If you can imagine it, we will create it. Chains up to where the completion was made, which what that was. You can unrig it, and we can make some good comments. Mr. Boyd, glad to see you. Just give me a second here. The aerial show, and that looks like an air Canada. Flying right up in the field. Vacation, man. I can use one of those. Looks like they're shooting north. So I yeah. wouldn't call that a vacation at this time of year. Heading up. In a nice domestic flight. Heading up nice somewhere. I think that's not that easy. <laughs> okay, I'm on channel four now. And east, we're heading the other way. That's where my guess is. Yeah, hold the, the menu button. <laughs> And that will unlock the channel select, and then change it to channel four. Yeah, I think it was that got hurt there. He put on Daniel Lefkowitz, and uh, high snap overthrown to this new QB. And that's a, that's a, a rough thing too, Kevin. When you're a fresh quarterback coming in the game, this late in the game, it's hard to uh, you know connect with your center. Uh, and that first snap, that's your first snap of the game with. Six minutes left to go, and if that's uh, you know a mistake like that, you can just take it off the tripod and come up. Try to get this we'll number of this quarterback for you here. Yes, please. Either way, second and one. 
And he hands it off. And you find a bit of space, but not enough. And that will be third down and it's still very long. Yep. And they're kicking the ball back. And yeah, they will be kicking the ball a long way. The run has been there, but it has been expected. So when that happens, uh, you know, it's going to be a long afternoon. <coughs> Good attempt. Goes the kicking team. Kicking it off, and we got just about five minutes to go left here in the game. Score at Quinton Skyhawks 30, Team 37. And like I said, this is actually one of the better performances that we've seen. It's not the best performance we've seen by this year, too, because this team has been Defensively, Other side, to your great. left. Forcing to your fumbles, left. Fumbles, interceptions, all kinds of stuff, but. Couple bad bounces. Amir, you're left. Couple yeah, the offense. Go through those gates. End zone, it's dummy end zone lock, interceptions. So it's you know those those hurt. They're coming back to haunt the Grizzlies right now, but uh, it's there are there have been some shining moments for this team, no doubt about it. Yeah. Any day, no matter any level of football, your offense will be up. Jason, do you copy? Correct. There's no point of football where you're gonna come live and that kick is off. Such a minute for 30, looking for more. Go! Go to 40, and he gets smothered by some Yeah, come in camera one for a second, please. Spaghetti wants that drill in the recycling player. That's no doubt about a great run. Another great run by him receiving. Catch him. Um, he can do no wrong. He had that long run touchdown. He yep. uh, beat the receiver, made the catch, made the play, but uh, Fairbairn did make the throw, though, man. He did. You're, you're one of the, you're one, and he's made a couple, yeah. He's made a couple throws, and uh, he's been consistent, so it's, uh, it's going to be a toss-up. I'm trying to play with the game, but I don't think Grizzly's trying to play with the game. Is. I think there's only one player that we uh, we can be in the game. Uh, uh, yeah, the Jerry, the, he got the touchdown. He's had some... He's had pretty much all the positive plays in terms of offense in yeah. tough team, so it's a tired of passing play, man. And uh, it's quarterback number four, back up in the game, making the play, making it. Oh, oh, great throw. Oh, great throw. Oh, Quarterback, Carter Stevens making an appearance. I guess Quincy Skyhawks feel comfortable with his knee, given the secondary year of the chance. And Stevens, actually feel comfortable with a great job yeah. and just drop pass. Hey, right in the numbers there, Kevin. That's where uh, you want to put the football. Really couldn't have asked for No, could not. Oh. And that's going to be second down. And uh, secondary unit out. I think you're just trying to show <laughs> coach that. You want a spot for it. You want a spot potentially. Next year. You want it to be going to show you. And uh, Stevens will show the coach. Show the coach is that way. Maybe a potential for other team to pick up next year. Yeah, get some plays on the highlight reel there. Stick your team. Snap hands it off. Oh, 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 the shoulder. Barrels. Hey. Get off him. Oh, 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 oh. Retaliation on the retaliation. Uh-oh. out there once again. It's been like that all game. And you know what? More flags. The GTA Grizzlies. That's, you know, what you want to Yeah. That's all it is. And it, you know, it's been shown all game. This is about to be uh, the first of all. A little, little brouhaha has a uh, has a uh, word that's happened this game. I think there was the original penalty, there was a grizzly player shoving up. Oh, they're flying back. Skyhawk on the down. Yeah. Yeah. Bear on top of a bird <laughs> on, on the ground. That's what you know. And then we saw the bird retaliate yeah. on the bear. Yeah. And now Chicken. there's just flags everywhere, and uh, we have a great opportunity to again show us the spot. Couple more chances to do that. Sure. Why don't you show him recycling, buying and selling new and used cars, wrench it up, find a different cost, 416, 50 50, and he gains 416. He's had a total performance, and of course, I'm here at Vol Air Media. I can imagine we will play. I'm trying to get these guys, these guys off lanes, are going to chip me down there too. I'm telling you. I did to me. Sportsmanship at its finest, man. Game. <laughs> oh, he's been on it. I'm really disappointed we haven't heard any of the 
Say that word again. What's that horn called? Oh, Vu Zeller. Say that. Sound it up slowly for me. Vu Zeller. Big, big part of the World Cup a couple years back. South Africa, correct? It was. Okay. It was loud out there. <laughs> We are at the three minute warning here in Brampton, Ontario. Oh, 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 Great tackle, great defense once again. But uh, I think they're really just trying to run out the clock here. They, I don't think they're going to see very many more throws. Uh, they're just trying to run it down as much as you can and uh, get out of here with this gun. Yeah, and dummies uh, have been hard to come by for plenty, but uh, GTA has, they've had that someone do that number of what they have Yeah, yeah. Uh, GTA just wasn't trying to. In the streak, but we've seen the best performance now. Play action, throws it left, creation, and that will be a first down for the Quinton That's what I said, they're not going to throw the football later. Another, another football. catch by Beal. Yeah. Oh, another player that has been making a lot of receptions all over the game. Yeah, he's been good. Pull the transfer right off. Give me some getting, man, for Quinton Skyhawks, for sure. Even if Beal goes down and switches that right now. I think because the time was more important when the Correct. spaghetti one happened. Correct. And he's, he's, he's been doing everything. He's been, he's been running the football, yeah. catching the football, football. Yeah. returning the football. Yeah. Who do you got for the GTA here? Uh, I, got, I got my man Cliff Gary out there. He's doing, he got the hell game. Yeah. And uh, he, he, he scored that. He's got, his, he got some good tape. Oh. That's a good foot. Oh. Offside. seeing another broadcast for playoffs unfortunately this year but next year hopefully we can uh, broadcast our way to a championship there Matt. Well, we are a championship broadcast. You know, we, we are we doing know. our best. It's all we can ask for. And Steven's looking here first and about 15. Takes the snap, rolls right, throws it, has two people. And he Connected on these long bombs a couple of times. First game. I haven't seen someone from Quinny this far up since the new Timbo opened up in town. Get the double drive for me like an alien shit. Steve's on the ticket snap. Hands it off. Runs right. Looking for the end zone. Just uh, nail yeah. in the coffin, as I would say. The uh, Skyhawks looking to put up another 40 burger here on the PGA Grizzlies. They're having a great game, and they're doing it by any means, any way they want to. Actually, they're running, they're throwing. Uh, it's, it's hard to it's hard to stop when everything's working. Unfortunately, the difference for the Grizzly and the Skyhawk is the Skyhawk has the arrow. <laughs> Stupid observation. Kick his off, leg out. Either way, in the game. Cameraman with a sweet catch back there. I don't know if that got uh, put on the screen. That's our guy. Yeah. Wait, was that not good? Sign him. Sign him. Sign him. Give him a raise. That's our guy. Yeah, you did. Moving back, and I guess was that incomplete? That was good. So it's 37, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so it's 37. 
Which still, ironically, is one of the better results of the season. Uh, <laughs> GTA business. Well, true. Very... Very seconds left in the season. This is the first time we've had them not in the 40s. Yes. That's, that's correct. <laughs> Hope 30 seconds left, we hope we can stay that way. Yeah, yeah, I mean, a rough game, a rough season, but uh, a lot to learn. Uh, you know, you can only go up after a game like this. And you have seen some positives from game one to now. We have seen a lot of positive gains. From the defense has definitely shown improvements, and the offense is just the one struggle where we really have yeah. not. Couldn't find any all season <laughs> been rough, they but the, the highlight, you know, like you said, it is the defense. <laughs> Special teams, too, they've been uh, pretty respectable. So as long as they can start focusing on that offense going into next season, uh, they can do some great things. He's going to the 30. He's going to the 30. That's our player. That's our Grizzly Chili. Good job, Berkeley! Yes, I would I would definitely go with that. Another reason why. Right there on that one. The main clip here is great. <coughs> and uh, GG gives his offense. 18 seconds up to the clock. Let's see if they just run the clock out. Or if they just try to have some fun and throw in deep. Well, what do you do here, Matt? Do <laughs> you just run this game out and get home? If I'm playing Madden, I got a score. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get him to double digits, you know? <laughs> yeah, he just, he just got it. Yep. Yeah. That might, that might be the move here, because it's getting to the end of the season. That's what I mean. You definitely want to get yeah. some of the fans something to cheer about to close it out here. Sure. But also, I understand, as I said, just hand the ball off and get to the end of the game here. And there it is. Who moves that, my baby? The sound of a grizzly bear going down. <laughs> Felt that up here, Kevin. Oh, oh. Actually, hit the mistakes to win right out of you right there. That was that was huge. Quite late too. Why? Question is why. Sounds like these Quinny Hawks have just chunked a couple double doubles because they are fired. They are fired up. They're acting like they're it's, you're up by a million. No need to hit like that. That's uh. No, I don't know. That was These fans want to see people hurt, apparently. <laughs> Unfortunately, some people are like that. This man got some people just don't lack sportsmanship. It's, uh, it's uh, a trait that just some people don't have. They really want blood out there, I guess. And, These uh, people are semi-professional <laughs> students, workers, yes. and apparently people want spines broken. You know, these crazy fans. It's unfortunate oh. to see. Not the sportsmanship we support here at GTA no. Grizzlies. Um, we do not want anyone getting serious in this. Let's go, I just don't know other <laughs> family yelling and want, like wanting that. This game is over. Why do you like, rub the dirt in the wound on this season? And that's a game. And that's probably for the best. And of course, us here at Volair Media. We also want to give a big time shout out to the coaching staff, head coach Mike Muskie, uh assistant head coach Mike Moore, defensive assistant Mikey Malicious, running back coach Robert Glenn, and of course, our special teams coach Mark Holder. A big time shout out to our president, Colin Holder, and trainer uh, Jesse Cooper. And uh, I'm Kevin Campbell. I am Matt Henry. And it's been the season. Thank you. And uh, play of the game, Matt. Play of the game. Play of the game for the Grizzlies. Give me that Cliff Jerry. And uh, for the, what do you got? I, I agree with you. I think Cliff Jerry is the GTA Grizzlies. He's the only recycling player of the game. Uh, unanimous. And what about for the winning team, Quincy Skyhawks? You gotta go Nick Segetti for me. Great game, Brian. He did everything out there. Uh, so give me Segetti over there.
Yeah. Any, anytime someone's 5'7", 150 pounds, is just running over and dominating a football game, I don't think you can overlook that. 100%. So shout out to Getty, and shout out to Jerry. Uh, great season. Great, great season, job. buddy. And hopefully uh, hopefully back next year, and hopefully back next year with uh, with some wins. Great, great to do it. Yeah. Thanks for having us. We are the uh, GTA Green and CJFL Pope Broadcast. Perfect, boys.